I don't think he had any concept of how much the media will build you up and then tear you down. I didn't expect it to blow up so quickly. This is about to hit what the fan. What the hell is even that? My whole world changed and I'm questioning everything. Like us. <laughs> what are you looking at, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Are you Wow, wow, Wes. We're here, dude. It's good. We did Welcome. it. Welcome. Welcome to Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast. All right, so you're back from Australia. Tell us all about it. Back, back from Australia. From Australia back from Australia. Back from the future, really. Really? It's the future there right Technically. now. Technically. Why? It's tomorrow morning there right now. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I don't know how you're doing that. You're what? good now? I'm all right. I feel better now. <laughs> I'm not. Shane's living my lifestyle right now. What hey, lifestyle? Your life sucks. He dude. texts me at five this morning. Yeah. I keep waking up on fucking Jocko time. Shit sucks. Yeah, dude, you should t take a picture of your watch, dude. I need to get a wristwatch just to be like, I'm up. I'm already playing Madden. Yeah. I'm already playing the new Madden. I'm rage quitting at 8.30 in the morning because I can't stop throwing interceptions, dude. This game sucks so fucking bad. Are you dude. playing other people or just No, I, I, dude, I play the franchise. Yeah. I just try to play a season. It's psychotic. He plays franchise against the computer even though there's live and all Yeah, that there's shit. a whole world, right? Yeah. yeah. No, that shit sucks. It's fun. Is I like the storyline, dude. I like to be like, yo, we need to establish. I am them. also into the lore of things. I like the lore. Yeah. I like we got to so and so gets hurt. I got to I got to build around that. I got to work on draft picks. The only good story mode football game ever created is Blitz the League. That was the best and that should be the last football game ever created. I mean, on Dynasty NCAA Dynasty. Dude. Blitz the League, when you could like elect to give the guy steroids or not. Yes. That what? was fucking sick. Yeah, Blitz the League was nuts. Why would you not give him steroids in NFL Blitz? It was just a thing. He'd either, he would either be out for the game or you give him steroids. Really? And CAA oh. had one where you could, it was right before they got gay, you could like have your players cheat. How? Really? Like there would be things where you could, if your player got caught. Cheat on a test. Yeah, you could be yeah, like, yeah, his yeah, grades yeah. are bad. You could be like, ignore that, let him play. And then if you got caught, you got fucked by the NCAA. Really? It was, it was good. Yeah. Did you ever get away with it? Yeah, I would. I, at Notre Dame, I would hold my. Players oh, but we are live. I don't want to. I would hold my players to a higher standard. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> at Notre Dame, this isn't this isn't some SEC fucking. Yeah, we're talking blue and gold. We're talking God, country, Notre Dame. True. So you would you'd be like, guys, get back in the classroom. Get I'd say if you cheated on, I will cut you, dude. <laughs> Strike one. Did you ever go coach mode? What do you mean? Wasn't there like a coach option? Oh, yeah, that was mad? sick. Yes, I would do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'd just be offensive coordinator. I'd start at like Toledo. <laughs> work my way up, dude. It was so sick. I was doing that this year. I was doing that during the pandemic, dude. Coach mode's fucking sick. Coach mode's nice. Coach I would start as an offensive coordinator. <laughs> dude, and nobody sees it but you? Just no that. one sees it. <laughs> I'm doing He's this like in God. the dark. He's dude. just creating another reality. <laughs> That's so funny. I don't sick. know what to tell you guys. I have zero shame about this. <laughs> no, I would, you I would shame. love to. I, 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 I don't feel attacked. Good. No, I believe yeah, in this. Oh, FIFA yeah. story. No, I don't think sad. you are. FIFA is the most tragic. Yeah. Oh, FIFA, dude. FIFA, you've seen me get fired. <laughs> yeah, it was a fall from grace. FIFA, I would try to I'd take a low tier English team. Because they have relegation, so like the yeah, English yeah. Premier League. I just I would, watched Ted Lasso. I'm, I'm called up. I would take a team like Ted Lasso's team. Yeah. I would try to Ted Lasso. I would fail. Drop down another league. <laughs> I'd be, dude, I would play every game, and then I would get fired after like two months of playing like five hours every day. And I'd still be getting fired. It was terrible. They chucked his ass down to uni, bro. It was terrible. I mean, me and me and O'Connor watched it happen, dude. I, I was Sunderland. I was Sunderland till I die. He watched us get fired. He would even more loser of a move. O'Connor would lay on the couch and watch me game. Watching game is it's a, it's a hole anyone can fall into. You yeah. have to be stoned, or he was like dead he, sober. Think, that's psychotic. I think the O'Connor sure. was for real depressed as fuck. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> <Anything> <laughs> back your mind off you just laying him. there. Depressed. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> just yeah, watching that's someone get fired. Like, yeah, watching someone else lose. 
<laughs> Okami's on his feet right now. He's flying. He is. I don't like it. He's swift. He's high up. Honestly. He's high up. He's been working out. Things oh, he's are going well so for him. ripped, dude. He got yeah, he so ripped, up. dude. Ah, oh, man. I'm happy for him, but at the same time, I wish I could have that. <laughs> you could, honestly. Dude, I can't. I've had baby fat since Damn, I was 12. I didn't know you were laying like that. You're laying like when God touched me. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> the creation of man. This is just, this is just how I we I feel like this the whole time. <laughs> you can't out, give me a chair God. this big, dude. I'm too small for this chair. You're comfy, I'm, huh? out. I'm supporting that. It's, it's like the guy who's like <laughs> <laughs> It's like the dude who's stuck to the tree in Game of Thrones. <laughs> he just fucking knows everything. He can tell you what happens in the future. <laughs> Spraying the broken. <laughs> yes. Uh, God uh, damn. But yeah, I've been, I've been waking up way too early and then uh gaming as hard as i can <laughs> rage quitting <laughs> rage quit, dude early what like, do you do the rest of this day? game what do you do uh, nothing i switch quit. between mlb the show and madden <laughs> do i keep quitting both do <laughs> get like no hit in mlb <laughs> do you hit the switch on the shitter <laughs> no i do not i wish really? I, I wish i had that type of power That's bring a switch power. to take a shit my cousin had a How psp for a little while that was like we had the game boy and then we got the psp and we're playing need for speed on the shitter. oh and it, it just com- it goes over no, no, you can just hop on a PSP because you yeah, think like continue if you're gaming on the toilet back then, it's like <laughs> Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. For a while, when I had that fucked up porn setup with the hamper upside down, yeah, I got you know the um the, yeah, porn hog. the no the VR <laughs> the VR uh, red shit where you're just looking at Wario Virtual World. Virtual Boy, yes, Virtual Boy, that thing was awesome. I played dude. Wario World until my fucking legs went numb on the toilet <laughs> in the red, so I was just staring in there like a fucking psycho. Uh. Yeah, yeah, switch on the toilet's deadly, dude. That's Hemorrhoid City. Yeah. That's Hemorrhoid City. I mean, I, I, that's, I already live there. Yeah, but dude, you become the mayor. If I, you put the switch. I, I would become the king. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I couldn't do that. That would be a real... I mean, don't get me wrong, I could. Yeah. That yeah. Is you can future. do anything you put your mind to. But that, I would do it if it weren't for smartphones. Uh, True. If there were no smartphones, I would definitely have the Nintendo. That's so how I'd I got... Be playing MLB The Show on that. We had a Game Boy. We had a Game Boy next to the toilet forever. We play. I mean, it was Tetris. Yeah, it sucked. Tetris was perfect beat. for shitting. I guess you're right. Yeah, not when Mario. Great. Like when Mario and shit exists, and you got Tetris, it's kind of beat. I, I wonder if, Tetris, I wonder if Philly's the only city that calls it Mario. Probably. Yeah, I've never heard. What of you're it. saying it's Mario. Yeah, it's Mario. So it's, it's Mario. It's Mario. <laughs> what? Yeah. What are you guys talking it's about? Mario. Apparently Don't we love it that we're all from here in Tug like Do you guys call him, do you call him Mario Lopez? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mario, Mario, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mario, Mario, Mario. It's Mario Lopez. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Who's the guy from Yo Mama? I don't know what that is. Yo Mama on MTV where they would do Yo Mama jokes to each other. Wait, oh, so that's, Will, that's Wilder Valderrama. Never mind. Yeah. I thought it's his name was not Mario. Mario. <laughs> what? It's not Mario. <laughs> what the fuck? Who's the guy on Yo Mama? Wilder Valderrama. <laughs> I get him and the other. Who's the other Mario? Mexican Mario. Lopez. Mario Lopez. Yeah. Right. I get him and Walter Vollmer, <laughs> whatever his name is. Walter Vollmer. Yeah. You don't remember Yo Mama? <laughs> I do remember This Yo is Mama. Yo Mama. <laughs> do you love snap contests? Huh? Do you love snap contests? I was watching that. I was watching Wild Out for Do you love bit. urban comedy? Huh? Do you love you urban love comedy? Wild not, ne- not necessarily. A lot of it's over my head. <laughs> yeah, it is yeah. complicated. Dude. A lot of it just flies over my head and I can't really, it I can't bleak. laugh with like, you know what minority like i can't laugh at minority jokes about minorities you don't like to punch oh down. they're hitting each other too hard you yeah. clam up i only like comedians that punch up uh true <laughs> you gotta punch up in comedy am i right <laughs> yeah so if you're Fucking watching like two minorities roast each other you get clammy being like i don't i can't laugh at that i'm just indifferent they might as well be speaking like russian i don't know what they're saying you don't uh, know what black people are saying <laughs> nah <laughs> <laughs> they might as well be speaking greek exactly Which, by the way that's where gringo comes from Really? Greek? I had to look that up. Why? It's, uh, it's not, there was an old thing where people thought gringo was people saying, back then the Spanish, the Mexicans saying green go. Like that's what I heard. the U.S. Army was wearing green uniforms or something. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Uh, no, it's, it's Spanish because the Spanish used to, from Spain, they used to say like how we say like, it's all Greek to me. Yeah. The Spanish would say that. If somebody said something that grigo is Greek, uh. they'd be like a grigo. And what? the Mexicans took it. How about Where'd, that? I love etymologies, dude. I, I love it. this stuff. I had to Google why it. Why did you Google So it? much better than Green Go. I'm not sure why. I think uh, maybe because we were watching The Anarchists. Dude, uh, which brings us to our are, those first gring- topic. Those yeah. were Gringos, dude. Those, those were gringos. complete Gringos. R.I.P. Nathan Freeman. Dude, I've been laughing so hard. All right. <laughs> this is a big spoiler, but go watch The Anarchists. Yeah. Yeah. Nathan forward. Freeman dying of cirrhosis. 
Turning into a fucking Penske, dude. Yes. <laughs> he became Homer Simpson. Yeah. He became a Penske. It looked like he was picking up kids for school, Yo, bro. Did you see? I didn't think. No, I didn't think that. Shit, dude, I didn't think the hand was real. I didn't. The think The hand was, real. was fucking pure yellow. Dude. I just thought they though, started embalming his he ass. He boozed so hard he turned <laughs> yellow and died. <laughs> yeah. Like twenty minutes before that, it's like I hate the word allowed. It's like, dude, you shouldn't be allowed to drink because now yeah. you're yellow, dying yeah. in front of your kids. I saw him hitting that tumbler like in the first couple episodes. I was like, this dude has. They a kept it in. There's yeah. one part where they're doing an interview at his house, and he's like, "Do you want to drink? Because I'm certainly gonna have one." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> was he sipping on vodka or tequila? The, in that video, I think it was whiskey. Yeah, it was brown liquor. Treacherous it was dude. brown. Oh, it was some kind of brown dude, liquor. Dude, that's yeah. a whole other thing. Dying from like brown liquor. Dude, imagine dude, that. Most people move dude, towards vodka. He's literally laying in a bed. He's fully yellow. He he's Homer Simpson. He, he has a mask on, so it looks like Homer's mouth. Yeah. He's laying there, like, looking into the eyes of his children, and they're like, all right, say goodbye to dad. He's like... And the he white, dies? The, the white... He dude, dude oh, no. he's this dude that lived in America, could have had a sweet life, grew out a devious goatee, took his whole family to Alcapoco. An Alcapoco. He's like, oh, yeah, we're so cool, we let our, our kids curse. And then he died. He took him to Skankfest, Mexico. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's Skankfest, Mexico. It's Skankfest South. Yeah. It is funny to meet as anarchists and be like, all right, we're just going to do this once a year. We don't like to centralize. We're going to do this organized yeah. thing Let's where like hang you got to pay money to set up a booth. Yeah. We're just going to talk on Facebook. Rules. Yeah. They what? They just chill and talk on Facebook. That's the whole show. Fuck that rules. They yeah. love Did the you just find this? No, no, I've show. been waiting no, for No, I know, but how did... Because you got to... I think you got to search for it. Pasio is in it. Like we you were looking for Passio. Passio. We yeah. love Passio and he was like <laughs> bitching like a couple years ago. He's like, Anarcha Polka's fucked. I'm starting Anarchadelphia. And like he started his uh, own he one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He forked. Yeah. <laughs> How's Anarchadelphia? Has that been I, I didn't go. <laughs> yeah. I heard the so. didn't go. <laughs> I heard the fucking I heard the enterprise is in jeopardy though. Is Anarch Passio came come back? Is it when I last checked in with Passio, he was like He's touch and go, dude. Really? Yeah. He needs, I mean, you he go toe funding. to toe with Luciferian elites and see how your podcast goes. <laughs> he needs I funding, dude. <laughs> I know, but last time I checked in, it was like, it was looking bleak. Yeah, but if you it's watch bleak. this anarchist thing, they put up the numbers of what they would have with Bitcoin. If oh, they held man. on to their Bitcoin, it's oh, heartbreaking, man. dude. That's the other thing, dude. They were so close. At the end of the season, or the, the show, they're literally like four months away from Bitcoin hitting 100,000. Ugh. And they're all like, they all die. They all fight each other. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, get shot. It was fuck. So I fell asleep. I, the jet lag hit. You I fell asleep and I woke up to the redhead, redhead's Facebook. Yeah, Facebook like, live. Oh God, he's dead. I, to, <laughs> I was waking up like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that chick yeah. is skeeved out with like some sort of meth or whatever. Meth or heroin. Doing. It's the word, though. I feel so horrible for Nathan Freeman because the dude's fucking yellow, treacherous blood work, dying his wife's in front of yeah. him. His wife's in his mitt, just like, you should go. Like, I fucking hate you for doing this. For but bringing you, them all to Mexico? You can die. No, no she's die. mad at she's him telling for him to drinking die. himself to death. Oh, so yeah. like, you should die. You can go now. I'm very mad at you, but you should die. And then he just clocks out. He clocks out. He can't Jeez. talk. He's just laying there, like, looking at people coming in and staring at him. <laughs> all <zonked> up. <laughs> he dies on cam? Kind of. Just about, yeah. Oh, they basically oh, yeah. cut out, yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I've never seen someone turn yellow. Oh, no. I heard about it. I, yeah. You I get heard yellow about from jaundice. like jaundice, yeah. but I thought it was just your eyes. This dude is full. He's fully yellow. Bro, you wouldn't believe how yellow his fucking hand is. Oh. It doesn't look real. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> he looks like God. a fucking crypt keeper. My baby had to pause. She was like, holy shit, is that that guy's hand? I was like, no way. <laughs> yeah, and then we rewound it. It's this. fucking wild. <laughs> dude. Homer Simpson. <laughs> you would have to be drinking like a handle a day, right? Or is it just. Yeah. He was you'd, have to be, you'd have to be. Or just even like a seven fifty. I mean, I guess obviously cirrhosis hits people different, but like, yeah, it smacked that. Boy. There's dudes that can house bottles a day. Yeah, no problem. Like Stanhope's still. Yeah, he's a lizard king out in the desert, dude. Yeah, yeah, he's scurrying under rocks. He can do it. Nathan, Nathan could not. It yeah, wasn't Nathan, Nathan, Nathan not couldn't for him. him. That makes sense. It wasn't in his constitution. Yeah, it's just that like a bunch of like kind of smart guys, a bunch of tricksters, and a bunch of rebel nerds, like. It's textbook rebel nerds. There's the dude named dude, Paul in there. It's Skankfest. Yeah, literally. It's, it, it couldn't be more Skankfest Mexico. It's Skankfest. Like every single person there, if you like spun me around six times and showed me a new camera, it was a different scene. And we're like, is this the anarchist documentary or is this Skankfest? That's Skankfest, obviously. <laughs> really? You've been tricked. I mean, dude, there it's like like notch for notch, same exact thing dude, both ways. Promise me if I'm yellow and dying. Don't let a camera crew in there. No, <laughs> don't let my that. final thing on earth to just everyone be like, 
<laughs> what the fuck? What is crazy about it? Is he's some, blinking. Some dude went With down. Kid. Dude, he's looking at his boy. His How old is his boy? Oh, his young. kids were so his mad. Kids too. were young. The yeah, yeah the, the daughter. She still got out of some curse words. Yeah, they let them curse, which is like it's Sick. uncomfortable. Really, the little kids are cursing, like throwing books and fires and shit. Yeah, it opens with kids throwing books and fires. What are they like, burning? He's like, typically, I'd be upset seeing a book burning, but isn't it so cool? It's like HBO must be just be sending people out to stuff because this guy like lucked out yeah. on having an interesting documentary because he was just there for. They probably all this. sold it. They probably sold it to HBO. That was just a dude making something. Oh, okay, gotcha. unless he says throughout this is for HBO. I got gotcha. you. Point. You know, that you know show inside baseball. Shit, yeah. Inside yeah, but still, shows. he probably just stumbled onto that. He probably was like, that sounds kind of funny. And it was like, this will be, and all of a sudden it was like, yeah. holy shit, do these guys' lives are and falling they, apart. Yeah. Then they Such just, a, the best thing for a documentarian is find somebody's oh, life falling oh. apart. Noah had a good, <laughs> Noah talked about a document. No, what was that documentary you talked about? The old lady. Oh, Greg Gardens. Greg Gardens. Oh, Greg Gardens. Yeah, That's classic. That. That's yeah. my juice on when Tom and Fed lived at the farm was together. Really? Yeah, I was like, yeah. What Greg Greg Gardens? What's Greg Gardens? It's like two old Kennedys that are fucking loony too. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. Are there, what's, what's the other, they're like the Onassis. Stay here, Edie. Yeah, they're like the Onassis <laughs> family, like two yeah. weirdos from like a rich family that the house just went fully into decay. <laughs> and the mom just dragged her daughter down with her. It was like, you can't leave her. I'm going to cut you off. So just like the just this lady lost her mind. These guys just sat at their house and watched the place just completely. Isn't that isn't Devil's Road the end, that house on the end of Devil's Road? Isn't that like a Dupont estate? What you talking about the Devil House? The Devil House on the end of Devil Road. I don't know. <laughs> it's called Devil Road. <laughs> You're talking about where the white Bronco would chase you. Yeah, where the trees bent out this way. Oh, out to away from Devil the thing. Road. Yeah, Devil Road. Devil House, Devil Road. What would you, I don't know what if it's a Dupont it? estate. We called it the Satanic Church. Yeah, but the road coming up to it, the Satanic Road. I did. We never. I never. I never carted it out. I never said like what it was the road it was called. I got entrapped on doing it one time, and you know I don't fuck with any of that. You went shit. to the, the Satanic Church. Kathleen brought me with her fucking <laughs> hick ass boyfriend, and I was in the back seat just punching the fucking we hated seat that trying guy. to play it cool. Kathleen had a hick ass. Yeah, boyfriend. we hated that guy, dude. He had a jacked up like. Yeah, I won't say his name. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. I won't say his name. But he was a hick ass boyfriend. Yeah, like, we everyone hated him. He was country. Country. top down. Dad, my Paul hated him. He was Kenny Chesney at the link. <laughs> he was. Dude. He went to Kenny Chesney at the link. <laughs> yeah, for sure, had to have. Did fireball at Kenny Chesney at the link. Took him out. Whoa, what's that stuff? Is ah, cinnamon? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> you know oh it's yellow. <laughs> <laughs> dude, if he went yellow on Goldslager, yeah, my bro, my bro went close to yellow on on fireball. What? How? Yeah, oh, he was an alcoholic and he was fucking sneaking bottles of fireball in his in his yeah, room. Yeah, I guess it just oh, fireball. Like you're chewing gum. No, yeah, there, dude, just, there's a lot of mad dog alcoholics. Mad dog's sick. Yeah. Oh, I got that. MD 2020? My life, yeah. I was a kid and you I thought die. mad dog was the coolest just because the bottle. The name and the bottle. Yeah. The colors. Yeah, I like that. It's a cheap, like, terrible hobo wine. Yeah. I thought that was, I thought it was the <laughs> shit, too. I it's seriously like, it's for dudes it's like who are. Video like, game wine. <laughs> it's so <laughs> fucked up. There was that. Thunder. I think there was Wild Irish Rose, was another one. I was like, it sounds so sick. Yeah. It's for it's literally it's for exclusively the biggest pieces of shit. Four locos hit them. <laughs> if you're not a kid, I mean it's all kids, but if you're like not a kid drinking MD twenty twenty, you're fucked. Yeah, yeah, absolutely fucked up. They're out there, bro. You've completely given a lot up. of them are on twenty second and Diamonds liquor store because I used to go there when I was at Temple. And there's you get the a MD twenty twenty. A lot of MD twenty twenty clientele going in there buying <laughs> dogs, dude. <laughs> I got my hands on Boone's Farm. I thought that was kind of nice. When Isn't I was that younger. the same shit? It is. I was. I was pretty pissed when i learned that i was like i got boons for him there. right yeah, before it sucks when you find out something you like is for fucking bad trash. dog yeah it's bad dog and i was like <laughs> fuck yeah story of my life yeah right before <laughs> i got to temple four loco took off and that was sick four yeah, loco you it was it. sick that was your opioid epidemic but when i got to temple they already <laughs> took the caffeine out of four locos and snoop dog had a fucked up malt beverage that like you would shit purple the next day <laughs> wait what was, was crazy <laughs> what was the one uh what was who had pimp juice it was Little John. That was little, there was pimp. There Lil was a John. beverage called I think Pimp Juice or yeah. Crunk Juice. Crunk, Crunk juice. juice. Yeah. Okay. That Lil was John East Side Boys. Have some respect, buddy. True. <laughs> <laughs> there, was, there was another um, one too. It was there was Four Loco and there was one more. Four Loco was, was responsible for my first bomb. My yeah. first real show bomb. That's. It was back when it was caffeinated. Me and my bro got. Shaking? We bought a case of it and played <sighs> drinking games during the day. It how bad good. is it Before when you my bomb? First show. Like how? It's the worst feeling in the world. How terrible though? Like <laughs> it's the worst I mean, feeling in the world. I'm dude. trying to understand. Like, standing in front. Of, all right, so like standing to a in front civilian of a room, here. It's 1929 yeah. stock stock crash. 
<laughs> yeah, you want to walk off the building. Yeah, it's 1929. You literally are standing. It's Black in, Friday. You're just standing in front of a whole room that's decided you suck. Oh, and dude, then if somebody like, starts heckling, this is paranoia. It's the worst yeah. thing in the world. And then somebody starts heckling, and everyone's on that person's side. God. So no matter what you say, they're all like, "Ha, his was funnier. Yours sucks." Yeah, it stinks. It's oh, crazy. Dude, the it's only a whole thing. room full of people actively not liking you, and you're trying to get them to like you. Damn. I don't like even this. if you're like, yeah, I don't like this. fuck oh, guys. you guys. It's still yeah. a point that's like. I want you guys to think that that's funny. Yeah. I mean, this is it's your, cru- this, it sounds like when your crush disses you in grade school. Like I had a chick that I had a huge crush on. I fucking told her. And then everyone's like, dude, she doesn't like you. And everyone turned their yeah, back on me. And I couldn't joke around at all. It's time 50. It's like, I but couldn't imagine joke around a fire hall full of people looking that's like, what I'm yeah, saying. fire halls are fucking very intense <laughs> bombs. Dude. When you get hired at like a VFW, they're like, Hey, we got some local comedians and every comedian sucks. By the time you're on, the whole crowd's like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Damn. And that, but especially in, when the whole crowd knows each other, then there's dudes that are funny. And they have their own There's jokes. drunk dudes yeah, that are right. like, hey, it looks like fucking Bill's wife. And they're all like, oh, oh, fuck like I don't know mate. what she looks like. Yeah, I, did a, I did an Armenian Orthodox church and they were like, you got to go clean. I was like, all right. And I replaced the word ass for booty. And I said booty and they just bombed. And I went, oh, what did I do? And I just sat there. And I was like, fuck oh, me. Booty is so <laughs> good. Just booty. Set, 70 unibrows staring at you. <laughs> yeah, it really was. Where's the Turks annoying. when you need them? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking Armenian freaks. No one believes you. That genocide didn't happen. How come that genocide didn't happen? <laughs> That was fast. As, as a, <laughs> yeah, we got there. <laughs> that that's, that's legal. Um, yeah, bombing stinks. Bombing is gay. <laughs> so, so I just like I'm trying to wrap my head around with, like heavy embarrassment rituals. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. It's like bombing. That's gotta be up there is the most like, embarrassing thing possible. I would say Manti Teo had the most Manti embarrassing Teo. possible thing Dude. of all time. And that was back too when it was like even if it was like, dude, I didn't know it was a it was a guy, it was like they were probably like that's still gay. I could the fact that you her. couldn't figure back then they would be like the fact that you couldn't figure that out. No, they knew it was a guy. I'm saying the oh, fact yeah, that he, yeah, yeah. he could be like now you like I didn't know it was a guy. No, People would be like, fuck off. The fact that you didn't figure that out, like you, it doesn't matter. You were talking to someone who you thought was a guy. People were probably like, "That's gay, bro." I'm sorry. I was so adamant that he was innocent from the get go. But I will say this: I think in my defending him, I tried to set up a fucking like I'm not being a homer. I was like, I think he might be gay. I was like, he's just a dumb gay dude, dude. Let him go. <laughs> so I might have besmirched the king, and if that if that's true, I yeah. But back then there was it was it was, was a perfect know. season. That I know, I know. It's not your fault, is what I'm saying. Because back then, especially, I loved him, dude. I loved him like a fucking Shame. brother, dude. And he let me down. <laughs> yeah. He let me down with he this fucking down. foolish gay stuff. <laughs> that's not gay, bro. <laughs> it wasn't at all gay. Especially the pics were on point, dude. She he she sent the picture with him and saying, "Dude, the loud boy shit." Yeah, you know? he's you're sus- a loud boy until you die. He sussed it out. What's what's that other thing they call each other? Oos. Oos. What's Oos? Oos. Yo, Oos. Uh, cousin or brother? I, I forget. have no idea. Oos. Shit's sick. Yo, Oos. They say it in WWF. I like, remember it, like him hitting up the other athletes and stuff. I remember that all the time. My one buddy used to get fucking uh, hit up after football games by all the other like teams, like the kids on the other teams. The one kid's name was fucking Geronimo. And it was constantly like, yo, what's up, man? You're the shit. And if that, if that dude had Geronimo, Okay, and the sniz on him, he would have believed it. That's what yeah. I'm saying. You can't, you can't fault but a man. My for that. problem is back then, it didn't matter. It would be like it doesn't matter that it was a hot picture. It doesn't matter the voice. Even the people said the voice was hot. Yeah, it's like you talked oh, to hurts, a dude. That was the dude. You had yeah. feelings for a dude. Yeah. That's it. that was the the thing back then. It's like if it doesn't matter if you got completely tricked. You had feelings for a dude. Gavel hits the thing, gay. That's the, what, that's back then. Yeah. Nowadays, no big deal. His legs were going numb before games. Obviously, he's fighting that in his head, bro. Yeah, I literally felt <laughs> it. I was watching the documentary and I like felt the embarrassment. I oh, was it's like it's, this it's, is insane. And dude. he's so nice too. And he champed it. The dude's a fucking beast. He's the beast. Yeah, he's the best. He's a beast. That also that was also the gayest insult too. Like anytime anytime people talk shit on Notre Dame, they're always like, join a fucking conference. You guys don't care about this, but I know you're talking about that's okay. a gay ass argument. Chest, bro. Shut up about it. Yeah. And the other thing would be like, oh, Teo, fake girlfriend. <laughs> be like, you don't know anything about what happened, dude. Yeah, he was so fu- He was so busy. What was the night like? Because that was a perfect fucking season for Notre Dame. When's the last time they had a perfect season? <laughs> uh, two years ago, actually. Two years ago, they had a perfect season. They went on the yeah, and they I, got I, smoked in the playoffs. Okay, it doesn't count. <laughs> I'm saying, when's the last time they won the ship? 
We talking Newt Rock? Who are we talking? 88? I mean, should have been 93. Not a big deal. They had the exact same record as Florida State. <laughs> yeah. They both won 11 and 1. They gave it to Florida State. Florida not State's, undefeated. Florida State's one loss, Notre Dame. Whoa. Well, that's same insane. record and they should have been them. Notre Dame. Yeah. yeah should have been Notre Dame. Not yeah. a big deal. But that I was a 12 and 0 <laughs> season. That was supposed to I be don't a care. W. <laughs> that was a 12 and 0 season. That was supposed to be a perfect season. It was a perfect season, dude. No one can take it. Nah, it Lacey was a perfect took regular season. Shit. There's not here's the other thing. There's nothing even if Teo was fully King Manti. Yeah. They were getting they were getting butt fucked in that game. No I remember what. watching on ESPN <clears throat> over and over and over again of Lacey running into the end zone with the first dagger and then it was just like the red wedding. Notre Dame losing is also like clickbait. Roll ESPN time. loves it. Everybody loves it. They're like, look at Notre Dame get killed again. Everybody gets killed in college football. There's three teams that are good. Man, this yeah, this is sad. Bro. It's Ohio State, Clemson, Alabama. Yeah, they butt fuck everybody. Well, their schedule every is packed with good teams, though. They don't. Notre play. Dame does have a good schedule. That's another common misconception. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They have a. They play. Like, they, they join a conference. It's like go look at Michigan's schedule, dude. Go look at fucking Michigan's schedule. You want to know who they open up with? Colorado State, Appalachia. Hawaii, Connecticut, yeah. Maryland, dude. That's their first four games. Damn, miss me with that. Yeah, but I mean, I don't, I don't get to experience like the highs and the lows, like. This dude fucking had 80,000 people <laughs> swinging layers, dude. I was at that. I was at that you game, were there. dude. He I was, was there. I was Are you like, serious? You know what I mean? Man yeah, Michigan at night at Notre Dame, 2012. Not a big deal. And then he was <laughs> locked in his room looking at fucking Twitter comments. Yeah. This is the darkness, bro. I mean, this yeah, dude's been darkness. out in the sun, been in the darkness. It's as embarrassing yeah. as anything can get, getting tricked like that in Especially front of the whole entire world. Uso, dude. Yeah, you're from, the, from that, you're news, dude. Yeah, I mean, he kind yeah, he kind of got her back. Whatever the fuck <laughs> saying. He could, he could, he kind of got her back at the end there. When? Said with I forgive him. I forgive him. Yeah, he dead named her. He did. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. I mean, yeah. if anyone has a right, first that of all, that's, he's got full right to say. I would slaughter such, that person. Such is that why? What people do that? What? Like attack them? Yeah. Attack who? Sometimes they, the community. The community gets attacked. They, dude, if you get tricked. If you get tricked like that. Yeah. O'Connor and them were just talking about this on their podcast. Yeah. They said that's super gay if you do that. But in my opinion, you got to be so fucking straight to be so pissed that someone, like, if you're kind of gay <laughs> and you fuck, a, uh, you fuck a, dude, a dude tricks you and you're kind of gay, you're just like, oh, man, what the fuck? And you I'm, go home. If right, you're I, super straight, you're killing that. I got a real, I got a real, like, <laughs> yo, I got a real, like, swim story. Like, this is not me. This no, is sure. not, totally not related to me at all. But there's a carpenter that swim knows that fucking <laughs> hatcheted a tranny and threw it in the fucking Schuylkill River. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. Remember, this. remember that, dude? Yeah, yeah. They found body parts in the trunk, then they found body parts in the river. This was like a couple years ago. Yeah. I was, you know. I think it's someone yeah. I it's know. black was, or white. Yeah. You're so in the closet trying to keep that it was a black yeah. dude. It was a black dude. Straight. It was. It was a black dude. Couldn't, couldn't handle it. Yeah. I oh, mean, the carpenter was? I, I'm thinking, uh, I, the re only reason I would ever get that mad is it's such a violation of the bro code. For real. It's such a violation of the bro code. You go in there and trick your bro into thinking you're a girl and divulge thoughts for you and then ruin his football career. <laughs> they found blood on Total a circular violation. saw. Oh, yeah, he saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Them up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Plugged in a circular saw and had Went the last down. laugh. Yeah. And oh, yeah. Manti Teo's bitch is out here just dancing in a fucking hula dress. How'd you like my guess? That was great. Thanks. I, that was very good. <laughs> <laughs> that was that. Was, the end was like That bad. was sickening. Dude. It was like the end of Midsummer when they put like flowers on her. The yeah, music yeah, might as well have been playing. I don't like how Netflix. Look at. Yeah, it was terrifying. I don't like how Netflix glorifies the journalists. I don't like how they glorify the transsexual. I know that that's a lifestyle, but that person did that's something just very wrong. They did something very, very wrong, exactly. dude. Cost someone millions of dollars. Yeah, that's yeah, but all right. In, my, in defense thing. of Netflix, that'd be like making a movie. Like just because someone fucks up doesn't give you an opportunity to make fun of what they are. Like, if they made a movie where a black dude robbed a place, you couldn't just be like, fucking black <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> you could. Although, there's, I'm just playing, I'm playing fucking homo's advocate. Yeah, this. for real. <laughs> <laughs> Tranny's advocate. I am Tranny's advocate. I mean, advocate. hypothetically, we, we want to play that. Hypothetically, what if this was just some random white dude never trans and did this to Manti? It would be, that would be a demon. He'd be. I mean, this was a demon. Although this, that yeah. could have been the that could have been part of the violation of the bro code. You might have been forced to physically trans. Oh yeah, right. that might be ah. death penalty of the bro code. I was trying to explain this to kicked Spain. out of the alliance. This is Notre Dame. This happening to Manti. 
This had me dying. Crushed dying, me, dude. bro. <laughs> I've, I've fallen. Him what since was his, the night like? I've fallen like, him since his high head? school senior year. Oh. I've been following this dude. <laughs> oh, no. when he, and he was definitely going to USC. I was at a low point in my life. I was washing dishes. Yeah, yeah. I was at a catering company washing dishes. You were watching yeah. high school highlights? I, of course I was. No all the vine. I still do. No all the vine. Obviously, Sam McGuffey, the yeah. McGuffey mixtape. Obviously, not a big deal. Went to Michigan. That was gay. Friend, I friend requested him on fucking Facebook. McGuffey or Noel? McGuffey. McGuffey. Nice. No all the vine was a bit too much of a thug for me. I, Those Florida Dade County boys are scary. <laughs> they are. Yeah. But I was I was following this. He was a USC lock. Yeah. Everybody was like USC. He commits to Notre Dame on signing day. What'd you do? I was me and my, me and my bros love the Irish at the at the company. We were going nuts. Shout out El Caz. What up? <laughs> you found out. You were just like what? we were pumped. And then I I mean I was this this was the guy. I was like, he, yeah, yeah, now it's time for Notre Dame to get a decent defense. It's been years. We've been toiling under Charlie Weiss. No defense. <laughs> I love this. Dude. Charlie so Weiss was a sackless motherfucker. He was. He actually yeah. he was a sackless I know. man. I used to watch the Notre Dame games. My fucking uncle. You've never seen a dude. Them. You've never seen a dude like this. Really? Full egg, dude. Full Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Fat, and he would wear yeah. khakis tucked. He would fucking wear it, dude. He would honor it. Throw the ball, Charlie. He yeah. looked like Andy uh, Reid kind of looked like a Dr. Robotnik as well. Yeah. He was a Dr. Robotnik. Was really this was a Humpty. Is that the guy from Signing the Hedgehog? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, Andy yeah. Reid. So he was full Humpty? Yeah. He was full Humpty. He uh, he looked like Chris Christie. Like, you ever see? Uh, like, yeah, but yeah. like pants on Who, the belly line. the guy from Congress? The little fucking troll that has his pants on there. Nadler. D- yeah, D. Uh, Nadler. No, no, Jerry no, no, Nadler. Jerry Nadler. Nadler. It's the most rugged picture of a human I've ever seen. In my life. You ever see Chris Christie in a baseball uniform? Dude, it's even worse. This looks no. like the embodiment of a pervert. It's fucking <laughs> insane. <laughs> so I'm following, dude. I'm yeah. obsessed. Yeah. Obviously, this is it. This is the most depressed I am ever in my yeah. life. Obviously, Notre Dame is the most important thing in my life at this point. <laughs> I'm clinging to this. Yeah. And then uh, season 12 and 0. I have so many memories of that season. Yeah. The goal line stand against Stanford. I was watching that with my old man. Shit. We yourself. stood up and hugged. <laughs> it was, I mean, it was. Manti the best. was playing for him. Manti, yeah, Manti, was Manti for bore me. you on his back. And I love you to hug. I mean, he talks about it. Yeah. He's like, this is for the dudes who love me. Yep. This isn't for the guys mocking me. Yeah. Oh, He's Shane's like, not putting up any memes, but on that I'm night not. on the 12 and 0 season when he ruined it for you, he what was going it. through your head? He didn't ruin you it. You weren't slandering his name at all? I was doing the research. I <laughs> loved you him. I was, not, I was not slandering him. Okay, I was I'm, doing I'm the just, research. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm trying to get into your body. Paul, It'd be like if, if you know, <laughs> yeah. hell, that long hair's got you acting different. No, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm trying to see if I'm trying to be Dude, sure to He's almost at Tom's length. It's whatever, bro. Yeah, you're going pretty long. He's not going to pay me anymore either. <laughs> yeah, I told him. Fucking scumbag. I'm definitely not paying him for that. <laughs> Dude, he, he hit him with how he's already on the water tower. Shit's yeah. too funny. What's eating Gilbert Grape? <laughs> how- <laughs> I almost drowned it. I drowned it. The, the how much longer you got to go? The night it fell apart. <laughs> yeah. Dude, right. the night it fell He's got to go, two what, years? two more years? Yeah. You got that. I'll definitely pay you when you get there. No, you won't. I promise. I know. I mean, I just went a whole year and you just told me that I feel like this might be a test, but at the same time, I'm not going to let you have power. <laughs> no, everything's test. Everything's test. And at test. the same time, I couldn't even get a haircut right now if I wanted because I would have a three inch tan line all the way around my head. Bill, That'd be sick. Everything's nice. a test. The hair is only making you more powerful. Good point. Shane, go the on. The hair what is happened? making you more powerful. <laughs> I noticed the first thing I noticed my hair. You do look good, dude. You look different. You said I've been wor- it looked like I've been working out. I haven't even been working out, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I might fall to a BL right now. Bring up, bring up, bring up, Come on, please, 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 please. Uh, yeah, can, can you yeah, get yeah, that light out of there? Uh, I want to hear the rest of this, uh, bro. The, the, thank you very much. The one, it's one of these. Hold on, it's like a one-sided. Uh, oh, no. There you go. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We got the red soundboard. That's so cool. Uh, That's a professional setup. The fall was tough. I was. It was uh, actually the year that was when he committed. And then Charlie Weiss gets fired. Notre Dame's in the damn dumps. Who'd they pick up after that? I hired Brian Kelly. Brian Kelly, a redheaded fuck. No, no, Is no. Is he redhead? No. Is he the uh, guy that we ended up getting? I thought Brian Kelly I think had red when hair. he started, it was Chip. close to red hair. He's not Chip. redheaded. Dude, I'm a bit of a Notre Dame fan. My, he, I'm, a, I'm a fan a little bit. I like Notre Dame. Game one Trump under BK. Boss. Game one, they lose to South Florida at home. Uh, I mean, it was, it, was the, it was just like, damn, <sighs> this is... It's opening day, too. They lost to fucking... I forget. I think it was. It might have been Western Michigan. I forget who the fuck they lost to. He easily could have just kicked a field goal and won the game. Yeah. They tried to throw a fade to score a touchdown for no reason. After the game, BK is like, "Get used to it. This is how I play." What? I the mean, fuck? I was. How I was many fuming, games dude. do you think you could go back to until you start forgetting them? Like, could you? How many seasons? Do you I think can go you back run pretty. I can go back at least to like, <laughs> damn, oh, oh three. Who's playing in oh three? 
Hold on, I got to I got it goes by cuz there was a while where Notre Dame would make a BCS bowl and then go 6 and 6 and then make a B. So I go, what are you guys Dude, Shane might be about? the ultimate fan. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. No, like, this is not my, my whole family is my my lady came to Christmas. Yeah. And I was like, my whole family's gonna be wearing Notre Dame gear. One guy went to Notre Dame. My one <laughs> uncle went They're to Notre Dame. Out. He get there for a Christmas party. <laughs> Every single person is in coaches' polos. The women are wearing Notre Dame fucking jackets. It's <laughs> crazy. That's, That's so it's crazy. crazy. It's the ultimate <laughs> Irish swag. It is. Oh, yeah. It for real is. It's like if someone's a priest. Yeah, I'm telling you, I just think remember. Used to be nice. I remember my uncle one time. I was like, "Who won today?" He went, "Notre Dame." Yeah. He got so fucking pumped. Could you take the rest of those BLs out? The yeah, they're going to get frosty. Oh, my bad. There's fridge, no, it's okay. There's fridge ones, too, man. Uh, but, no, I could go back. I could go back. Oh, I mean, Fiesta Bowl 2001. I had another Notre Dame book. quarterback. For real, though, I kind of want to stay on the Manti. I want to get yeah, in Manti there. Yeah, Manti is more important. I want to get into yeah, that true. season. 2012, the season, dude. Yeah. Going oh, undefeated. Okay. Manti against Michigan State. That's when it comes out. He balls out. Everybody believes it. Everybody believes it. And then that's what I did not at the time like Manti. Was Golden Tate I on thought the squad? It was, no. That was afterwards. Golden Tate he was fucking rules. Yeah, he was awesome. Okay. I thought it was I thought it was real and I thought Manti was being gay about anytime the camera was on him being like, This is Yeah, for that you. kind of stuff, right? I, you could see a difference. Yeah. I I'd been such a psycho, I followed him his whole career. Yeah. It did change when the cameras came on. How could I judge a twenty year old for doing that? For real. That's sure. that's but I was twenty. It's about, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> so I was like, this guy, fuck this guy. Yeah, that, that's the height of everyone's like. No, no, another thing about this. Yeah. nah, he's just a youngling, dude. He was he was yeah. totally. He almost fine. cried when he brought up his fake girlfriend dying in the documentary. That's I know, dude. He had a lot of up. emotions. I had no idea it was that fucked up. Like the faking being on a ventilator, calling his the brother, being like, she's on a ventilator. Die. Could you talk to her? The nurse. And he's like, yeah. He's like, hey, what's up? I hope you doing. And she's like. <laughs> Like started breathing fast when he was talking, and the brother was like, "She's never done this. Could you keep doing this?" The nurse, <laughs> he said, "The nurse asked whoever's saying this to keep going." Yeah, but oh. Matt, he's like, "I'm doing it every day." All of this was one person. I know that's I know. the most insane thing. With like yeah, a nice talented. little black goatee the whole time, just passing the phone back to himself. Quite when you're Eddie, there, quite when a you're there, Eddie, as Eddie a, Murphy. Yeah. When you're there as a fan, <laughs> when you're there as a fan, what was it like? So the like to go through this. It didn't break until after the ass whooping. Right. After the national title, oh. the news came out. So not only was the whole season led up to led up to the game against Alabama where it's like, dude, let it happen. Please I knew it was a long shot. I was like, let Notre Dame win this. Yeah, yeah. Of course they fucking get smoked. I mean, it was over from the start. Yeah. Uh and then a couple days later, the story breaks where it's like Phew. Manti's girlfriend was fake. That was crazy. And everyone was like, he was in on it. That was the early thing, was he faked it to get attention. Yeah. I can see how they said that, though, just through, like, weird mannerisms and stuff. I could see it. I mean. Of course. Especially a lot of people hate Notre Dame. I don't hate Notre so Dame. They well, the quick mat to be mature like, Manti, too. You can tell a marked difference. The mature goateed yeah. Manti versus him yeah. as a youngster. Versus him being a young boy. Kind of looks called. like Eddie Bravo's, like, strong brother or some shit. I can see that. Just a thought. Getting destroyed by <laughs> everybody <laughs> and then having to sit on the – Dr. Phil show with your parents and cry like that fucking Dr. Blows, Phil's a rat dude. fuck dude like, of course he's, he's a piece yeah. of shit especially in Polynesian culture that would be fucked up and the Heisman thing was pretty wild too what happened he went up for the, he was up for the Heisman he's number two in the Heisman yeah. he's a fucking middle linebacker and they took it no they gave it to Johnny Manziel who deserved it yeah if yeah. Notre Dame won the title Manti should have won the Heisman Manziel was the goat though when that shit was Manziel gone. was the man did he not go to the NFL? Manziel. Manziel went to the NFL. Right? Yeah. Teo went to the NFL. Teo, but he, his stock dropped bad. Yeah, like he was he having was, literal he was, panic He was going to be the number one linebacker taken. Ugh. Absolutely. Jeez. He would have been a first rounder for sure. And then everybody was like, this guy's a fucking gay, gay idiot. The guy, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know how yeah. real it is, but Netflix portrays it like this scandal cost him his first round pick. It absolutely yeah. did. Yeah. Ugh. For sure. Which, it, which equals millions. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. One Meanwhile, thing that this bothered guy's me just though, putting on dresses and dancing. Yeah, that guy. He, no, that was the that was the problem. No remorse, bro. Zero <laughs> fucking remorse. Like during the thing where like they would talk about something that happened, Lene would be like, 
that was so crazy that that happened. Yeah, that kind of pissed me off. Are you fucking kidding? Yeah, oh, dude, like I can't believe he's playing the voicemails. It's so fucked up. I mean, watch it. Oh yeah, these are mega yeah I'm one episode. These are like, mega spoilers. I'm one. I'm yeah. one episode. Like, Bro, why would you do that? Why <laughs> would like, you dude, play the voicemails? How are you alive? Now I would have killed this. you. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Lene yeah. said. Yeah, yeah. Lene Kakua. Tui yeah, it's, Sopo, it's bro. truly criminal, dude. But, they, but the, the only thing I saw, they'd be like, "Yeah, I mean, I realized that I was in a bad place, and I, you know, it's just like the only thing I had was to go on this yeah. fake thing and fake she couldn't, she couldn't let it go, dude. Couldn't let it go. I wish I could forgive myself about minor infractions the I way know. she does. Oh yeah, I beat on the that. fuck just, out of myself, just dude. Just destroying this a guy. Thing lives around catfishing. Yeah, just destroying. And also, there was no. He was like, dude, we had no conception of cafe. It was not a thing. Yeah. It was unheard of back then. You're telling yourself anything just to get the next day after something like that, bro. I mean, that's uh, true. But back then, there really wasn't. You didn't hear about bro, if, if, like no. my, I, my red flags would be going up immediately. Although, Lene did say, you've seen, ca oh, yeah, I guess, because like, you've seen catfishing. I use a lot of those tactics, but that was probably after the fact. What my, the movie my came out. Right there. there was a movie. Really? Yeah. You ever see the show? On MTV. There's, There's a show, show called Catfish. Catfish. I saw the show, yeah. The show's based off that guy made a movie. Yeah. I didn't know about the movie. No, I didn't know that either. Apparently there was a movie, because me and O'Connor got in an argument about it. A movie versus show? Yeah. I was like, the show came out after the Teo thing. He's like, no, there's a movie that everyone watched. I was like, Beforehand? I never heard of the movie. Yeah. yeah I never heard really? of the movie either. Fuck. Yeah. Anyway. Teo didn't have time for that Teo, kind of stuff. No, dude, Teo was focused on football. It was <laughs> like days, faith, bro. family, and football. Yeah. Dude. It's a Polynesian oh. way. And used like religious, like Christian shit too. Just tricking him with like you saved a woman's life. Well, that did, that dude so who was tricking him was chilling at church, like singing and shit. Yeah, it was Maui, the trickster, bro. A little pastor's daughter, a shapeshifter, <laughs> a trickster, absolute shapeshifter. Ever see Moana? No. Matt knows all the, Matt knows all the yeah, Disney kids, kids movies. movies. A yeah. shapeshifter. It's funny. I've seen that this happens to every comedian that has kids. Yeah. You'll see it on stage. All their references are kids things. Like the note you gave me about Paw Patrol, which by the way, <laughs> fuck yeah, Crush, it kills. Yeah. yeah. He was like, dude, say Paw Patrol there. I was like, nice. That actually, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, dude. Lene stole the heart of Tafiti and just ruined fucking. <laughs> just ruined fucking. The, I was down in Spade, though. It's like literally. It'd be like if all of a sudden everyone was like, Lord of the Rings is fucking gay. Yeah. <laughs> like the yeah, like one thing I gay. love, dude. You're punching air. It'd be like everybody going around being like, you like Lord of the Rings? You know that it's fucking for gay people? <laughs> It'd be like, it's not. You don't, I don't even, understand. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to think about it. This hurts my face. That fucked you up, too. It wasn't yeah. just an anti -teo. That fucking no, fucked me up, dude. Lene, Lene fucked me up, too. <laughs> I was at that point I was selling cars. Dude. You should pitch as like a follow up documentary where it's like I might as well get in on this. Here's too. my life. Interview, you interview all the guys up. and fuck, yeah. fucked ever since then. <laughs> my shit's been fucked up ever since then. That was also also like a side a side documentary. <laughs> Shane no, Gillis, just, <laughs> a guy who was slightly sad about it. Yeah. <laughs> just get a go team. Like, oh so man, this with me. And then, uh. Fuck, I forget what I was about to say. Um, I was selling cars. Yeah. hurt. Anyway. Everyone called it gay. Everyone, everybody was calling me gay. Yeah. <laughs> everyone was saying, dude, you're gay. Within the, within the family unit, everyone loving Notre Dame. Everyone in my family Were you defended. like the most anti Teo? No, 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 no. I mean, probably maybe the most Teo. No, the whole team. The you're whole on family the loved Teo. Yeah. I was on the forums. Yeah. Did they so, turn on you? On the did they turn on you at all about the, my was family? It, was there like a quick distancing? Like that's not my boy. No, my boy. family stuck with Manti more than I think his dad did. His dad was kind of like, "Have <laughs> to get tricked." My whole family was like, "Manti did nothing wrong." He didn't. He didn't. Of course, he didn't. He didn't do anything wrong. My whole family, dude. I've told you about my cousins. My cousins. My one cousin, Mike's house is blue and gold. Yeah, you're telling, you're telling dude, me. He, no, since then, nice. thank Christ, he's met a woman. He's <laughs> moved on. That's a bit of a bachelor. He was man. geese, though. He was a bachelor. He was an yeah. old bachelor. I mean, yeah. we used to live in a house where Hoss painted the steps uh, white, green. white and Kelly green. Yeah. For the dude, evening. it was blue yeah, walls. True. The frame of every window was yep. gold, like spray paint Hoss gold. Hoss literally did this for the Eagles. Yeah. This was his full house. Yeah. This Holy was just his full shit. house. Everything in the house was Notre Dame. He played like a champion. Notre Dame soap. He had the Rudy poster, the movie poster going down the length of the hall. How did he take this? We were all devastated. <laughs> <laughs> Him and his brothers, he has two brothers. They used to drive to every Notre Dame game from Mechanicsburg. Jesus. During the day. They leave like Friday night, get to a 2 p.m. Saturday Notre Dame game. See that and touchdown, drive back. Jesus? 
not drink. They didn't drink. <sighs> They would drive. They're to the just game, legitimate fans. Watch the game yeah. in the stands and then get back in a van and drive for ten hours. Dude. God, Damn. Manti was playing for them. Manti was playing for all of us. Dude. What if you went there and you were like, "Yo, I don't like sports, guys. I miss me with all this football talk." Would they be like, "What the fuck's wrong with you?" They wouldn't say it to your face. They would, be <laughs> but everybody, everybody would be like, "Dude, that family member is definitely gay." <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was dating a girl at the time. <laughs> but there's no doubt. <laughs> for Wait, sure what? I was dating uh, a girl when we were actually it was on the way to that game that Notre Dame Michigan game the lay uh -huh. the with the lays uh and it was just me and my cousin Frank and my and Natalie his wife who's the sweetest she's an angel because Frank's a fucking monster <laughs> yeah, yeah so we're driving middle of the night we drove through the night he was first he was giving me a lecture oh this is what he was talking about he was like if your girl because my girlfriend didn't like Notre Dame yeah she didn't like football he's like you got to get her on the program or she's out. You got to get her into the program. She was in the car? No, she was not in the car. Oh, fuck. She was mad because my girlfriend at the time broke her leg, and I didn't go to the hospital because it was the Notre Dame-Michigan State game. That Michigan State game. Damn, Obviously, I'm going to watch the fucking Michigan State game. Holy Your leg's going to be broken tomorrow. I don't need to check in on true. it. True. Yeah, I'm not a This doctor. is a one-time chance. It's true. That's true. This is Notre Dame. You made the, the right call. You made the right call. I definitely call. made the right call. This is fucking yeah. program. Game. You're on the program. I was part of the program. My girlfriend needed to get with the program. She never did. And his wife, who got with the program, was in the back seat sleeping on the way. And he goes, Nat! He starts yelling at her. Nat, wake up! And she's like, what? Jesus Christ, Frank. That's the program, She's dude. like, what? What are you yelling at? She's like, I was asleep, asshole. Like this. Yeah. Damn anyway, enough of, enough of this talk. What else is going on? That's well, great we talk. still haven't heard anything about Australia, guys. I mean, that's uh, why we're here. Oh, my dude, God. The tell, tell me what traveling's like. Tell me what Australia's like. Dude, flight the out. Was, it starts with the pod. The flight out was sick. The old aluminum insane. tube. The flight out was great. Yeah, it was. Did you get a bed? Oh, dude. Fucking <clears throat> Air Canada. Canada can go fuck itself. Dude. Oh, Matt told me about this. With the Canada might mask. be the lamest country of all time. They're still Easily. doing that shit? Dude, it's, it is if CNN was a country. <laughs> Bro, it is. really is. That's if a CNN fair. was a country. You guys are That might be the missing us. part of CNN. There's an A. All the A's. They just put oh, wow. CNN. True. It's Canada. True. Matt, thinking outside the box. <laughs> Dude. It's Canada. It was still got to wear masks on flight. Yep. <clears throat> Apparently, they have different health things. They have different germs in Canada. You still need... You have to wear a mask the whole time in the airport. People they like, patrol you it, put the mask on. Yeah, it's this like, little no. Trudeau's little minions, dude, come up and down the aisle. They're wearing like nurse clothes too. It's like, oh, they put on full fucking. Yeah. They put on like hazmat suits <laughs> to feed you. <laughs> so it was crazy, dude. I'm not trying to get fired up. And we were in those. We were, <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. He, no. you've, you've, he's been in the cage the whole time. He's got to be Bro. activated. <laughs> we were we were in a pod, like one of those bed seats. Yeah, yeah. No one's around. No one. I mean, really, no one's within. No one's face is within six feet. I couldn't yeah. catch a fap though. You, you were, could you not were catch trying a to hype me up like I could catch a fap. I was <laughs> in there like there's some. There's some where the like, oh, like, do you there's think some where the thing slides up. Fuck Definitely. yeah, bro. There's demons. Wait, out there. There's sure? a fap. There's some where the booth goes the whole way up so and that could. door kind of closes and you could definitely <sighs> fuck. It's yeah, you, turbulence. You could, have, <laughs> you could do like a military school fat was fucking yeah. real quiet. I caught one of those for real. Did you really? Yeah, yeah at West I mean, Point. I whacked off in the bunks really? while quitting. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why you didn't have your power. Uh, that might have been your Faustian deal, dude. Dude, this guy, I was asleep, and this dude comes up and goes, dude. woke me up like that, like but hitting hard, that hard because my mask, my nose was out. Yeah, above my mask. Matt, I had a, I had a, a not a fun phone call with Matt. Like Matt was like not joking around. How brutal this dude, was, dude! It, yeah. it was literally yeah. like I was violent, and I was half asleep. It was like a shake, and I was like, "Dude, what?" And he was like, "I'm gonna keep coming back. I'm gonna keep coming back. You can slide." And I'm like, dude, uh, "You're pissing me I'm off." I'm sleeping, dude. dude. Yeah. What the fuck? I thought there was an emergency. I didn't even never. I woke up from with a stewardess tapping my arm like hard. Dude. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. Remember they said the vaccine was 98% effective? All right, Bill. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Do you remember? I'm, fucking, I'm trying to call you a fucking Canada. idiot. Don't get us demonetized. I'm just Don't saying, get us remember demonetized, when they said everyone You can say this. What's your favorite vaccine? Huh? You can ask what's your favorite vaccine. If it's no. not one of your favorites, <laughs> no. that's your right to say so. <laughs> no. 
Polio was good. You're in Arcapulco, dude. I'm not in Arcapulco, <laughs> but dude, I got I've gotten gutted for fucking two years over this shit. Now the CDC you were comes gutted. out. Now you're at the, the two C- yard line. The yeah. CDC comes out and says natural immunity is just as good. The family. I'm watching. a retard. Somehow, who's I'm a, a retard? Who called ma- you a retard? A million people, dude. I, a million somehow, people called you a retard. Somehow, <laughs> Bill somehow. wins that's in the comments. That's what bombing dude, feels like. Walks by the way. like a duck. No, yeah. no, but, that's but that, that's not because you try to take me down. You try to light my house on fire with me in it. I rise from the fucking ashes like a phoenix. No, 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 no. No, it's enough, not enough, enough. Bill, because Bill, 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 I Bill, might as well be a Bill, fucking Bill, virologist. Bill, 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 please, I'm trying to Bill. experience Air Canada. Please. Here's the thing. Hey, Bill, 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 you can say for sure, you say, look, I'm not Just telling remember when all you guys said that and you were getting on my fucking case about how I'm not a fucking scientist and I'm a retard and now Who I'm said natural. That? Dude, There's everyone people. fucking said that shit. All right, you're done. Everyone says you're done. Kind of, I'm not right, you're done. Put him on a leash. Put him on a leash. Yo, yo. Just know you'll no, laugh at people not saying it was 98 for spade. Muzzle your dog. Yeah. Yo, no. <laughs> yo, you can say, you can say <laughs> legally, you can say, according to YouTube's legal team of lawyers, I can yeah. demonetize a platform. You can say, guys, anyone, you know, be safe, do what you got to do. It wasn't my favorite vaccine. <laughs> I'm more of a polio guy. Yeah. One shot kill done. I like that one. All right, Matt, you're you're in. You guys are in first class. So, yeah. And they treat Imagine what they treated the peasants. The peasants. Imagine oh, how dude, they treated the, co- the probably coaches. Cattle prods. <laughs> yeah. probably cattle prods. The, 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 the coaches are probably you living in hell. rolled them. I was thinking about becoming patriotic. Let's flight, roll. Flight 93, dude. straight into the Pacific. That day. Yeah. I would have done the world a favor. Yeah, I mean, Because that was, that was also, Air Canada's tortoises were all useless. 55-year-old yeah, they're CNN, old. dude. It was MSNBC. They definitely whacked off to that. I'm pretty sure it was Brian Stelter. He's fired now. Stelter is yeah. fired. He's gone. He's, he's going to. Matt, he, there's a video of Stelter with a mask on getting interrogated by Project Veritas. <laughs> I I enjoyed it, and I know that's a it's a guilty pleasure. <laughs> Project but, Veritas is a guilty pleasure. Yeah, sure. but if if you're on the plane and this guy's like tapping you, like dude, let one to ten. What, it wasn't what even a talking? tap. This was a smack. Yeah. What are we smack, talking? Smack, bro, bro. I literally said I I was laying there, and I I don't know if he was an earshot. I went. Pussy! I was so angry. <laughs> I exclaimed, yeah. "Pussy!" From what? my thoughts, and oh, I went, "Pussy!" I was, dude. I was literally, and then you're you're in a pod, fuck. in a bed, dude. It's a tough place to be talking. I would just shit. start yeah, screaming, right. bro. I did. I it. was in there just like <laughs> for for two hours. I thought about pressing the button and being like, "Get me a drink." Yeah. I was like, I should do that to this guy. I press the button and be like, Yeah, go get me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> it like, took, yeah, I, the only thing, the only retribution, I screamed pussy really loud while everyone was sleeping <laughs> from my bunk. And then I also, also ripped the one ply in my mask. There's two ply. Ripped that fucking other ply open. We both secretly ripped our plies. <laughs> <laughs> he, he walked by me and was like, Can you tell? Because I, I, we both thought it was, we were getting away with it. Because we were in the dark. We thought you could rip the Dude, bottom ply out. So, it's so clear. <laughs> I looked like Bane, dude. You look like one of those Mortal Kombat. It's funny we both did that out of like dork rage. (laughs) Just because that guy was being like, fuck it, I'll wear a mask. I'm going to fucking rip it. Dude, I lose my (laughs) sense. We both did the exact same thing, dude. I look, when I get that man, Shane, I lose. Can you tell? <laughs> yeah, I just did so like obvious. I just did calf stretches in the bathroom. I was like, Shane, can you tell my mask is ripped? Oh, dude, I went and did. <laughs> I went a little hole right here. I asked the lady to stretch. I was back there stretching, and it, she was like, uh, "Actually, because of the, I have to check everything, dude. Everything. She, what? What'd you ask? I was just standing back by the store. This is doing just my fucking yeah, yeah. 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 stretching. Yeah. And she was like, um, I'm not sure if you're allowed to be here right now. Let oh me go. Oh, my God. Now, this is the flight there. This is this is, this is the way back. Oh, okay. They were di- the flight there wasn't that bad. No, they were okay. I took mine completely I off. got yelled at. I got yelled at a couple times. Yeah, we my had row, different. Yeah. My row, I had, a, I had a lady that was. I had a chill row. Me. We were on different rows. My row was a chill guy, and he just, dude, I took mine off in his face the other way and slept. And I thought I could do the same thing on the way back. And, dude, pfft. I told you I was so angry. Nah, he was like so the guy fucked came up on the back. Blood, the guy dude. came back. He's like, sir, would you like any water? And I just literally stared at him. I just went and just looked at him, didn't say a word. And I was like, get the fuck away. I, I was like, I'm not speaking to you. You're a fucking stormtrooper. Fuck off, dude. You are a Nazi, dude. You are a Nazi, dude. I just went, I just looked at him, looked at him in his eyes, and I was like, bro, you've lost your humanity, dude. So how many hours was this flight? 16. Yeah. Holy shit. 16, so you're, bro. You're in a box with this motherfucker. Did you ever fucking breathe with a thing covering your face? I was For waking 16 up. 16 hours. I was genuinely waking up going. <laughs> Try like, being a nurse. <laughs> they real here. Fucking scumbags. <laughs> Yeah, I pretty much did. I did. I did most of most of the pandemic. There's, without there's patriot nurses yeah. out there. Though. There's a lot of nurses that look like. Also, they're getting back pay right now. Are they? Oh yeah. Dude. I just wish one of them would go out with me, but I mean, you don't we, know about patriot nurses. Rogies, Rogies has a patriot nurse. Does he? 
She, the lady who administers ASL, 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 ASL. She's a babe. She's ASL. A, obviously, she's um, obviously she's Christian and married. ASL, dude. She's Austin, Texas. She's no. Christian and married. Bill, she's probably ASL. she's probably uh, taking. Bill, yes. I said Austin, Bill, Texas. back in the cage, Female. please. I don't know her age. Probably thirty-eight. Oh, nice. She's a beautiful babe. She's in the fitness. So you're saying? She's so you're the, saying <laughs> she knows what she's doing? <laughs> I would never say something like that. She's a Christian girl. Yo, but, dude. But it could be. And infertile. a guy's Boom. wife. And who definitely has uh, never guns. Never mind. Never mind. I want, I'm, not, I'm not scared of the dude's Bill's guns. Bill's got his long hair. He thinks he's fucking Samson, dude. I respect the sanctity of marriage. It has nothing to do with this guns. I mean, you could, you could comment on a woman's sexual skills, though. If she's older like I, that, you can you can assume the older the woman, about the more her sexual a, skills she a qualified has. Matt, nurse. <laughs> Matt, please. <laughs> I know that you're in, I know that you're in wedded bliss, but like <laughs> also over here, dude. You know, come on, man. I'm just saying it's fuck you know. around horny around here, boy. I mean, <laughs> you're think, not horny anymore. You huh? been, you I know about yeah. you. If she's I'm a married so thirty eight. Bill's, 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 Bill's fake horny. It's so disgusting, dude. He's so fake horny. Are you claims horny? intel, dude. I've yeah. seen him operate. I don't claim insult anymore. <laughs> You got catfished to that bar. Remember that girl tried to be like, yo, come buy me a drink? That was drink? crazy. <laughs> that girl catfished That was just you. a nasty thing to do but for a woman. <laughs> anyway, guys, what's going on in Australia anyway? Oh, so you true, guys, guys got to get up. We got a battle air Canada. Yeah, crazy. yeah. The one thing that was nice, we get there. Shout out, shout China, out, Brad, dude. China, <laughs> China, the I China. Yeah, China. Had, I was furious in their airport. I'm like, this sucks, dude. Yeah. Fucking China. Da. Well, I think that was. <laughs> I thought China. Yeah, da, I thought China nice. was just because they were all Asian. I know you thought yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I was you like, thought Yo, that. Nice. I was talking about the utopian. Like it kind of worked on their regime. levels. That I was talking like about the dystopian language. regime. <laughs> I was like, it's so dystopian here. And then as I was like, it's China, though. We, it just so happened to be like 9 million Chinese dudes. They tend to cluster in the billions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we're about to hit 8 billion as a population, too. I think like today or tomorrow. Really? Oh, yeah. It's nuts. China's it's, actually juicing up their numbers. Spade just read a book, and China's what? completely lying about it. Listen how many to heads. a book. Shane's in the room. Thanks. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Thanks. So they have, so they're juicing up their numbies? Oh, yeah, dude. That makes sense, because I don't believe there's Also, I was listening to another podcast where all those videos... Uh, I mean, dude, not to get fucking... You were reading political. a podcast. Huh? You were reading the podcast. <laughs> Watching it. Okay. <laughs> get over it. They said all those videos... fucking over it. <laughs> <laughs> they said all those videos from China were 100% fake. Of the people dropping dead that got everyone in a yeah, fucking frenzy. of course frenzy. they were. They were people like Wait, throwing up blood. And again, what are the koalas like? Just tell me. The koalas, me. dude. <laughs> Funny enough, when those videos so came nice. out, Nancy Pelosi was down in Chinatown, San Francisco, saying hugging Asian. I Funny watch, enough. So for me, so just yeah, pissed me off. when I chillax, yeah. I watch videos of sloths and koalas. Dude, koalas. Yeah. Yeah. Your aunt, your, oh my God. Go ahead, dude. Take it away. I know you know a lot. The tea, dude. Fire up the tea devil. Fire up the Tasmanian <sighs> Bro, devil. We have, a video, we have a video of the Tasmanian devils in action. Oh, did you do the GoPro? I I tried to film podcasts, but it would like cut out every fucking. I yeah. didn't bring it with. I didn't bring it with. I am proficient in the GoPro. I got my GoPro badge now unlocked. Did you? So you guys met a Tasmanian devil koalas. Met, there Koala. were three Tasmanian devils. Two of them. There was. I think it was one boy and two girls. Yeah. And they were like. We watched them crunch bones. Did they spin it all or no? Is that just cartoon? That's all cartoon. That's crap. Bull okay. crap. But they, they came. We missed, we missed them shit. feeding. We were getting our picture with the koala. We missed. True. They, they chained up a fucking dead rabbit and let the boys fucking munch it. And the boys we got, got up down? there, bro. They, we got up there when they dude. Were, for some reason, I thought they ate plants. No, they're devils. We got up there. <laughs> oh, there. I thought we were talking about koalas. <laughs> oh, koalas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> koalas. Koalas only eat eucalyptus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's what I thought. I was like, imagine no, they didn't chain, they didn't chain a rabbit. Dude, the koalas ate eucalyptus. Yeah, it was kind of dark. That'd be nasty. I'd be so sad if those guys. One of them was on the ground walking, and it was very funny. Well, they have to they have to feed it while you hold it, otherwise they'll start to spaz. Yeah, they so they're, spaz. They're I, watch vid I watch videos of koalas spazzing pretty much. The way they spaz yeah. is literally like... <laughs> like the one, the one guy was just not watching. He They were trying to get him to look at the camera. He was too hungry. What was he their names look. again? Ours was Jester. <laughs> God damn, I'm autistic. <laughs> Ours was Jester. <laughs> it was the one that wasn't cooperating. I forget. Fuck, I can't remember. His name was oh, so... Oh, it was... Uh, fuck. Tap your cheek. Tap your cheek. <laughs> <laughs> he was named after... Uh, yes. It wasn't it was, Merlin. It was Romeo. Merlin? Juliet. <laughs> Oh fuck! I forget that his name was sick though. Look, Lester. No, that's Jester. Jester. I'm a dumbass. But it'll come back. The koala in front of us was acting up. He wouldn't cooperate. He was not cooperating, dude. <laughs> cooperating. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. Uh, 
Here and, we go. and they had to keep getting them different branches of eucalyptus and they're picky with the eucalyptus. So like you could the, the that's girl, all they grub. Yeah, that's all they grub. Yeah. They're useless, dude. Yeah. Except for being cutie. They fall. They're being cuties. cuties. Yeah. They're totally cute. They, they fall, never they would do trees. All of these animals never would have made it if they didn't live on an island. Good point. Yep. Yeah. None of them. Do they fall? Kangaroos might have. Oh, kangaroos can take over Vicious. the world. Kangaroos are beasts. Yeah. How Nasty tall? So. Seven feet, six feet. So that's the that's boys, an inland. The big that's the boys. Yeah, you think about the red, the red backs. <laughs> <laughs> they get yoked too. Yeah, I saw. Oh, that. they're, they're jacked, very yeah. funny. Yeah. The ones we saw were passive, bro. They were doped up. You saw that's, wallabies. You saw rockos. We dude, did that, get to see wallabies. We saw some joeys. You see, um, what are the birds? Magpies. No, we saw kookaburras. We saw kookaburras. Yeah, kookaburras. That we was saw sick. those boys. They were awesome. Bin chickens. Emus. Emus, yeah. Bin chickens was the best. We got there day one. We got oh. there. There was this thing walking. Like these, they have these birds with like, I don't know what the fuck those <laughs> Hornbill, Ibises? Yeah. Ibis? They, yeah, they look, yeah, like, the yeah, they look like the fucking Miami they Hurricanes. Looking cra- yeah. They look crazy. We're looking at them. We're walking through this park. We're like, holy shit, look at this fucking bird. And while we're staring at it, I was like, dude, this is definitely their pigeon. Yeah, we got trained. You and me are, fucking, <laughs> yeah, you you and me are Asians right now. <laughs> <laughs> In a park, just like. <laughs> <laughs> There's a camera like two inches. <laughs> oh, look at this thing. Dude, and then dude, we were like, the what are these? Are unbelievable. We were like, what are these birds? The guy's like, you talking about bin chickens? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> bin yeah, chickens. Like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> shit. Yeah, you saw that out pretty quickly. I knew yeah. these were pigeons. <laughs> bin it's, bin it's starting to come alive, dude. Yes. I thought there that was just go. from the Bud Light. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I was like, damn, I'm already hallucinating. Yeah, you sussed that out pretty quickly. We were like bent over inspecting it like, this is crazy. And it was, like, it, it is sure. truly crazy to see like a fucking tropical type bird yeah. just chilling. They're Same very guilty. They're very ecologically guilty are, people too. Everything they're like, yeah, that's the bird. We've we've deforestated and now we can't. Yeah. It has to go here. They're dying. I've heard that was, probably that's, when it started. that's when that whole thing started. I was like, good, get rid of it. Yep. They're like, we built and it's marshlands. It's like, yeah. good. I hope you built a school and a hospital <laughs> where those dumb fucking birds I mean, lived in a swamp. Dude, think about how many American animals just are gone and we don't even know about them. Dude, they're, yeah. Like before the scientists got here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're very, they see, they're very guilty people. They need, well, that's because, again, it, it started with George Floyd, dude. True. Everybody, <laughs> the whole world. Say, America excuse dictates, me? Say, say his name. America dictates the entire world's <laughs> culture. So when we had race wars, Every other country had to be like, oh, yeah, we're racist, too. This is what I'm trying to see the so world. Like, Australia's like, what we did to the aboriginals was so fucking What did they do? Evil. There wasn't I mean, that many of them. They though. wiped the boys out. Yeah. They gave him a whoop. Well, dude, I, I watched. They said, hey, you better get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I, so I just watched, on the way back, I watched the second half of, uh, what was it, Judas and the Black Messiah? Yes. And it is crazy they try to put Floyd up with him as a civil rights. It's like, bro, come on. With Fred Hampton? Yeah, they're trying. They're not oh. saying they're definitely going one for one. I mean, Matt, we're not even going to get into how they love the FBI right now, but whatever. Go yeah, on. true. Yeah, yeah. The Fair FBI point. that executed Fred Hampton in his bed. Yeah. yeah. This is in Arcapulco. True. Go ahead. <laughs> I fucking, I fucking <laughs> hate this state. In I hate this state. Yeah. Yeah. You gave me a Bud Light, Matt? Yeah, This yeah. is in Arcapulco. I'm allowed to. I don't listen to people saying aloud. I'm Good point. Be yellow. Can you get me another I'm seltzer too? I'm gonna be yellow in a fucking month. Yeah. <laughs> See if you can grow it out, dude. It's close. Yeah. <laughs> he looked. <laughs> I'm at Veruca. Catch ninety nine. Yep, obviously. Well, I mean, it sounds like it's fucking sick, dude. Australia is it was like awesome. it's another. That sounds like another world. Sydney is fucking. You went there. It's winter dude. time. That was nice. You putting a hoodie I mean? on, putting yeah. a hoodie on, felt good, dude. It's got to feel good. As soon as I put it on, I was like, I'm coming. I feel myself coming back to life. It's cozy boy season. <laughs> Hello. It was uh, Australia's. Australia's the best country outside of the United States. But it I does. Bet. I'll it go does, ahead and say it. It does fuck you up though. Definitely better than Canada, dude. Fuck Canada, Canada forever, dude. Think if Minnesota was just CNN. <sighs> it's the gayest country on earth. Uh, Montreal was pretty cool when I was Montreal there. Montreal is sick, but the architecture is cool. The people there, there's a bit of there's some dudes who like speak French and they think they're elitists. That's like, another thing about fucking Canada. Bro. You have to make every announcement twice. Oh yeah. They keep speaking French. It's like, dude, yeah, stop. Just fuck it. I for a while thought they picked French just to piss me off. <laughs> I, mean, I was like, what the fuck are they doing? The flight attendants have to they they're like, okay, you know how it's typical flight. <laughs> bullshit where they're like yeah. here's here's how you wear your safety belt in in case of a crash 
grab your fucking ankles yeah, and, and suck your it's own like, dick. Dude, yeah, <laughs> die like a fucking coward, dude. <laughs> grab your ankles and suck your own dick. Yeah. While, I just like put I mean, my like imagining Matt, like Matt, the fire in this one, like the spazzing, like, the, like PC the, principal. Yeah, like dude. what he's holding back is unreal. I was dude. so angry. <laughs> I, it was like there was it was like, like they're like, sitting there announcing shit in French. And it's like, dude, he's about to pop the fuck off. That's some dude. That's like Iwo <laughs> Jima going by some World War II vet, like motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, the scrub of like when I finally yelled pussy, there was like it was like no, that would be life ruining. No, can't do that. And it was just like pussy. <laughs> <laughs> that like kept you from turning green and hulking yeah, out. Yeah. I get it, man. That I was can see losing on a plane, bro. That I want to shake your. I'm hand telling guy. you, I was I close to pressing the shit. button. Yo, yeah. I was close to pressing the button. I was close to pressing the button. I was like, would they really land this bird, dude? If I fucking wild There's out, nowhere to land it, dude. We're in if the middle I, of the Pacific. If I, it was international waters. If I no thrashed, rules. but also they weigh those fines. I'm like, these people are fucking brutal enough to like find me five grand. I didn't oh, want to ask them. I wanted, cause the whole time they're like, if, if not, not complying with wearing the mask, you are subject to fine. Yeah. I want to just ding that how fucking, <laughs> want to ding that fucking gay ass bitch back and be like, Damn. how much is the fine for not wearing a mask? As soon as he's name and number pussy. <laughs> yeah. You think Gillis doesn't have That's an American. It that's an American. That's, that's, that's pure American. American. And also, I'm never paying you. True. Yeah, <laughs> I live in never, America. That's, dude, what, that's that's Washington back. right I'm there, bro. Not paying you. <laughs> that's Daddy Warbucks, bro. Yeah. I'm never coming back. Don't that's be Washington. nasty. That's no taxation without representation. Crossing the Delaware. He's saying 1776. You're making fun of my income because now that I have a lot of money, <laughs> you've changed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you have so much, Bill's give me constantly scheming like, dude, Shane could do this. Shane could give us money. You talk to me, huh? Man, I see man turn fool for the money one too many times. I always try to fucking lift you up. <laughs> Why'd you just drag me down? Why'd you call Why'd Daddy Warbucks being mean? Dude, I'm on education. He's just looking for the cool thing to say. He's just doing the cool thing to say. Daddy Warbucks. I want to invest in you guys to build stuff. I want to invest in Spade to go. We'll get in all that. We will we'll, we'll get in your we'll, we'll get <laughs> He was telling me, have you heard the idea we'll, of We'll get on to it in the pain a little bit. Can we? What's Matt, the idea? For, for a second, can we Shark Tank you? Yes, please. We'll do it in the Patreon. We're already an hour in. We're an hour in already. Yeah, we keep rolling, dude. Yeah, the boys, the boys can't the boys, handle this shit. No, no, no the, boys, the boys haven't munched in a while. Yeah, the boys dude. haven't I'd munched. Like, yeah, let's feed the boys. Yeah. I'd like to fuck them. Bill, <laughs> Bill. <laughs> uh, I, know, I know you hate them. I know you hate them. Keep them all red. Bill. I'm a late-out boy. So we have <laughs> yeah. pussy ass bitch. Yeah. It's good. I'm just getting Are you warmed still up. holding down emoticons only in the comments? I'm trying, but dude, nah, it's fucking nah. tough out there. The floodgates broke. I put a fucking mandate. All the emojis. It's way it's way sicker. Dude, think of the Lord of the Rings guy with the bomb running. That's the guy breaking the emoji wall, just diving, just faggot. Yeah. The funniest part is like, I do, I do this shit. Dude, I do this shit. Me and shit. Bill are just in the helm. Yeah, dude. I do this. I'm laughing at Spade like, oh, God, these guys are put, trying to put up words. I'm deleting them. I'm laughing while these are doing it. And these guys, like, they have no idea. This is censorship. You're such a fucking they're, idiot. They're in like, Acapulco, dude. dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're in the fest, dude. The, the people that Bill, think Comment about what Reddit mutant, and all that are skank fest. Think about the mutants that listen to us talk. Good anyway, <laughs> we By got way, skank fest rules. I'm excited about it. True. We got two sharks here, Bill. You want to yeah. pitch? Please let me hear you pitch. Okay. Because I heard skank that you guys fest is a lot of just fat legs and jeans <laughs> shorts, <laughs> sock lines. Yeah, I hey, mean hey, it hey, does hey, rule. Yo, yo. Wait, what? What do you say? Yo, yo. Do you say? Dude, sock chill, lines. Dude, chill. <laughs> I mean, it does rule, but. If you were to scan and measure the calves of all the... <laughs> it is bad. It is bad getting high on psychedelics and then walking out and they're like, yo, this is the CEO of Kratom. You want to talk to him? It's like, holy shit. <laughs> it's like there's dudes that still wear... <laughs> <laughs> all right. So here's... here's. I know you guys still have to to run the run the idea past the sharks. We'll yeah. save it. We'll I will save say <laughs> it's definitely cost more than $36 a night to live in Europe. You're a right, fucking... That's ahead. why you're a pun. Go Everything ahead. exists. Hold on. Start from the beginning. I want Sharks. to hear the, Yes. Can I talk Go. first? Yeah, you are the hype man. You are. You. What's his name? Mr. Beautiful. That, or Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, <That's> Mr. <laughs> <laughs> I think this idea stinks and there's no margin. I'm Matt obviously Cuban. Mark Cuban. Matt no, Cuban. Matt Cuban. No, Matt Cuban. No, 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 no. Matt's yes. the dude who owns Fubo. <laughs> <laughs> That's over He's the line. Black dude. That's over the That's line. Over the That's over the line. That's over the line. <laughs> <gasps> That's insane. You don't know about the culture. That's over the line. He's an entrepreneur. He's an entrepreneur. 
Uh, all right. What's all right. the idea? Oh, no. Uh, Cuban, Mr. Wonderful. This wasn't like this. <laughs> Mr. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> he called me Mr. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, that was, Mr. Beautiful. Yo, that was one of them slips. Yeah. That was uh, one of those Faustian slips. That's a Faustian <laughs> slip. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, shut the fuck up for five seconds. <laughs> it's not, it's not a, a good start, dude. You're talking it's, to sharks. It's not, right it now. wasn't even a pitch. This is something like me and Spade, we're just talking on the phone. We're like, this. Spade wants to go see the world. And he deserves that. He fucking he went through the pits of Mordor, and now he's here. He's in the, he's in the ma- darkest depths of Mordor. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God. Dude, I told Shane he should sing Led Zeppelin for the next fucking goddamn comedy jam. <laughs> he told you to sing Ramble on it. Oh, yeah, do it, he's so nasty. Do it like limp wrist. Do it. Like do like rip or limp wrist like uh, Robert <laughs> Plant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, please do it. Time to say it all, mother. <laughs> <laughs> So we were just talking and Spade wants to go see the world. And obviously there's people who want to hear us talk. We have a podcast that's doing pretty good. There's a lot of people who said it sucks so bad for so many, <laughs> for so many months. Then it's like, dude, we're actually doing very good at it. So that sucks for you guys. Anyway, <laughs> we're chilling. Spade wants to go see the world. Roadcaster, 600 bucks. If you, t- if you know Wallow267, he tell. Why do you need a roadcaster though? Dude, we can play that in the Patreon, dude. I'll, we'll we'll bring up, we'll go on to this. Oh hell yeah, I can get the HQ version, dude. Leaves are falling all around. <laughs> I, I was on my way. It's pretty good, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude, you might have to rob her plant. <laughs> you need to have the limp wrist, just like a unitard with <laughs> fucking j- dangly fucking sleeves. No, I'm doing Elvis now after I saw the <laughs> crap Elvis movie. I'm just Elvis now. All right. All right. We'll pitch. I'll pitch. I'll pitch. No, pitch. Pitch. All I'm saying is Spade wants to go out. We, we'll keep on doing the podcast, but Spade hasn't been out there. He hasn't seen it's the world. to ramble. Now, if you see this man going through Amsterdam with a GoPro, bug eye. Yo. Looking, what? That'd be nice, actually. That's what I'm saying. You, yeah. you get I'm talking the, about everywhere 24-7. I want unlimited access. You get these pussies that go and do these tours, and it's like, oh, this is pretty nice. I want to see Spade try to hold his shit together and go through Amsterdam and tour that place and not break. You want to see a hobbit go through Rivendell? Yes. <laughs> you want to see a hobbit leave the shot? I just think it would be funny to see a normal-ass dude, an every, everyday kind of guy. The world is not in my books. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop you there. What? You're going to listen to what I say. This is Shark Tank. Okay. <laughs> you just referred to that guy as a normal ass dude. Yes. False. <laughs> <laughs> but mo- so go ahead and start your pitch over. False. <laughs> Most people <laughs> won't know him. This will just, this will slowly start popping up on people's feeds. I mean, they. People have real good, oh, dude. What disaster, the fuck? disaster. <laughs> he did that on purpose because he was off camera, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Edit that out. They cannot see us. Yeah, I think I just think it would be funny. <laughs> and then if Spades call me every week, he's got the roadcaster. I got the roadcaster. Why do you need two roadcasters? Huh? Why do you need? Shit's uh-huh. mega, dude. Have you ever used a roadcaster? I do. I use one, but I'm saying, why don't you just zoom and have one person record audio? Zoom sucks. Okay, hey guys, this is a professional st- setup. We we are professional about this. I know, stuff. but w- would you guys would you guys yeah. each capture your own audio and send each other the file? We don't give a fuck. It's just sick to have a roadcast. Look at all the lights and shit in front. I of mean, me. okay, I agree with Fair you. The lights are you plug you plug and he can plug his shit in. We don't know how to play video. I'm in, but I want ninety percent of the oh, okay. <laughs> that I want. So you guys can both Bluetooth video. If you if you funded Spain Spades uh, venture. Dude, I would do that, but we're, we're a Christian group right here. We don't do all that shit. Like, oh, I know, I'm, I'm, look at me, I'm 50%. It's, dude, we'll split it up whoa, even. Whoa, Whatever whoa, we need, whoa, we'll that's do. That's not how you act on Shark huh? Tank, dude. You don't come at Daddy Beautiful. <laughs> I'm just saying, they do. <laughs> Daddy Beautiful. They, they, they do, though, when they know that their product is good. We don't need investors. We didn't ask it. You sit there and started nagging us, saying that you can't go to fucking Denmark for $38. Turns out, fact check, yes, you can. You Airbnb. can't stay, dude, you, there's, there's Airbnbs. Airbnbs are $38 dude. in Denmark. Bro, oh, yeah. you're in a hostel. Shane. Do you understand where you're going to be staying? Okay. No, oh, yo. no, I've never been anywhere. Joe Penthouse over here, he doesn't understand. Dude, <gasps> Spade didn't have windows in his fucking house. <laughs> Joe Penthouse. <laughs> Spade didn't have windows in his house for a fucking winter, bro. You no, think, you'll be in a room. I did this in Brazil. You'll be, in a room with 12, you'll be in a room with 12 it's not, people. It's not Brazil. You can't get a. You uh, cannot yeah. in Denmark get a thirty-eight dollar. Dude, he'll Airbnb. literally show you. 
That's yeah, that's, pop it up, dude. You're gonna embarrass yourself on your own pocket. Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Holy fuck. <laughs> on the date, on the date. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You want it, Matt? These are my. This is my dude, wish list. Oh my god! Just, just take it for a spin. You're actually doing saying. this right now. The date you want it. Oh my god. Bill. Oh my I mean, just check out the pricing. Okay, you know, guys, yeah, dude, yeah, don't I, be afraid to look at me when you come at me like this, dude. I'm just saying. <laughs> don't just saying. avoid eye contact when saying. you come at me. Go ahead. What Let are you see. just saying? I'm the, the, the thirty-eight thirty-eight dollars. Yeah, I, I bet it's one day. Isle of Isle of Wight, UK is. Uh, David Ike lives there. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> you gotta go meet Ike. <laughs> we want to do a podcast with Ike. That's one thirty-two. I want you. That's to do not a bad. Podcast Isle of Wight is one thirty-two. Yes. Belfast is fifty-seven dollars a night. What day though? That's the thing. That's how these work. Uh, this Dude, says, we're not going during Christmas, bro. No, no, no. But if you look on there, it'll give you the cheapest uh, yeah, thing. Yeah, it'll yeah. be one day of the entire year. If you schedule it for when you're there, it's going to be whatever price say, they name. I'll check is, the Cali this, this right now. This is a for real Shark Tank. We're getting yeah. knowledge. We're getting I'm knowledge. We, we appreciate right now. this. All right, I'm, jump, I'm jumping Shark, up to Sharks, October 22. This. That's 57 bucks a night. Now we're talking 57. December 22, okay. 57. Now this is pre-taxes. Now there's also cleaning fee. Two night That's minimum. usually 100 bucks at every Airbnb. <laughs> Go ahead, next. Dude, oh, we're I can't just, you're embarrassing yourself like this. Oh man, I can't. Dude, it's probably like a commercial break and everybody's the like, these fees, guys failed. Shit. No, no, no. They, we're just throwing it out there. I just jumped we're up trying to trying to figure it out. We're just trying to figure it out, dude. It we seems to, like it is idea. saying 57, 60 a night pretty reliably. Ooh, you like 64, <laughs> jumping up 64. Now then try again, to book it. Like, try to book it and see what it says. Go on your phone, you fucking counter. All right, let me see. Like when I paid for you to go to the beach. Bill, it was, <laughs> it actually jumped quite a bit. That was a gift amongst friends. 66 a night. Yeah, saying 66 yeah. a night. Go ahead, you braggart. No, once, All right, you, there once we you go. Here we go. Fucking book, so it this goes. Thing's gonna jump. That was an intimate it, trip it jumps up to, it, it jumps up to 176 bucks for two nights. Thank you. Cleaning fees, $24. Right, service Bill, fees, this is 21. why we pitch it to the Sharks. Dude. We're this just trying we to learn. figure shit out. I mean, learn. you can two nights for 170 is not bad. Yeah, you can easily do this. I think you take two months Patreon. Yeah. And invest it in spade going. Obviously. I would try one trip first for, for a week. Maybe okay. two weeks. See what happens. <laughs> this is the plan? All right. Whatever yeah. he now, says is the plan. What yeah. I'm afraid is Spud Dog's going to implode, which does make for perfect fucking... Exactly what Please, we need. Confession? You're talking confessional style? I'm, I'm not trying to implode, guys. You're also, I think you've never traveled. I've been, when I was really young, I went places. I went okay. to Bermuda once. But Dude, I was nice. like for rugby. It would like, be chill. Shit. You would like it. You I would think go when you're younger, you're, it's cooler. Like I, when I went to Spain when I was young, I was mm. like, this, this is so fucking crazy. Yeah. Now we, no matter where I go now, it's all. It's all the same. It's all Buffalo, dude. But dude, you're yeah. jaded, you got to bro. Sydney and it was like. <laughs> Actually, Sydney was fucking Sydney sick. Sydney was sick as fuck. The Opera House is sick. Yeah. Oh, dude, we got to get talk about getting torped. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you met the guy that invented Changa. Julian Palmer. So we went, so the first night, I'll take you through chronologically. We got there. We're going to circle back to Brisbane. We went to Brisbane. Plan. Mind Rock, if I drain the Rock the show. It was great. Brisbane, fantastic. Brisbane, we go to Sydney for like four days. Excuse me. You'll have, to, you'll have to excuse us referring to it as Brisbane, Melbourne. Yeah. That's just how we talk. That's now. how we talk now. Milburn. It's not Brisbane. It's Brisbane. It's also a kebab. Yeah. So we go there. Oh, we got to talk about the goth. <laughs> dude, so we go yeah, there. I, Bill, well, wait for Bill. Bill's yeah. going to like me getting fucking mogged by a goth. Dude. <laughs> I got stunk, dude. It was not fair. So we go to Brisbane. Rock show is great. Go to Sydney. Then we Sydney, we got to like chill out for a few days and like hang out. Yeah. So we chill. And that's when I think we met JP, Julian Palmer. Yes. So I'm like, yo, dude, Invented Chang is going to come up. We're going to do a podcast. Had the whole thing set up. I was pumped. We get there. Right when we come up, he was like, yeah, I had a bit of cancel culture myself. And we're like. Save it. Like, yeah, wait. Like, save it for the pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he might have said something inappropriate. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I didn't even think. Because in my head, I was like, was the last time I met a guy one time who was like, yeah, dude, I know this cancel culture stuff's bullshit. This girl's trying to say, like, I did all this fucking weird yeah, shit. Yeah, you're walking around with the Muhammad Ali at cancel culture. Yeah, he, but he, he was, this guy one time cornered me. He's like, yeah, this chick, like, is trying to say I did, like, some fucked up shit, bro. You know, And I was like, that's not cancel culture, bro. <laughs> that's not cancel yeah, yeah. culture, dude. That's so, assault, brother. So I remember being like, well, thank God it's not going to be like that one time that guy did that to me. And I'm like, whatever. Which I don't think it was, but. I don't think it was either. It wasn't. I, yeah. I do actually. I believe all Julian's. I do. I, I think he got a, a bum rap. But but we're sitting there and he's like, I'm like, all right, this will be cool. We talked about how like the ABC in Australia just jammed him up with some cancel culture. I'm like, that'll be kind of cool stuff. So we're doing the podcast. He's talking 
fucking torpin. He's talking body. Sw- what was the thing he was calling? Body switchers. Oh, the guys yeah, yeah, who would yeah. tap if you were like kind of like losing real you'd hard. Say you'd find a plumber that's a yeah. loser. Dude, I watched loser. a podcast on this. Yeah. On guys who, yeah, he you said, d- dude, remember I sent you that guy? Who's the when name he was guys? like, I was being a real piece of shit. And he, it was like, the Council oh, 7. Guy, no, it was yeah. Council Walk-ins. 11. Yeah, the count, Walkers. Walk ins. Walk ins. Yeah, 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 that's what it was. He met the Council of 11. He was talking about them. Council well, 11. the guy on the podcast was two of the people on the Council in Sedona. 7. It might have been 11. In Sedona. Sedona. It might have been nine. <laughs> Could have been nine. I can't do that. I can't hear Sedona without doing that. <laughs> What's that from? Uh, I, one time I was I was over at Soder's. Soder, Soder used to, I mean, he still probably does, but he used to get, anytime I'd go to his house, he would get ripped. Yeah. He quit drinking. Yeah. And he's like, I'm sober now. Just gets high and like <laughs> blasted, dude, blasted. And we were watching, obviously we were watching Ancient Aliens. Nice. And there was one part, they were like in the, in the city of Sedona. And he lived in Sedona, Arizona for a little. And he goes, Sedona. <laughs> I was like, yo, that's the highest. It's the highest possible thing of all time to be watching H and Alien to be like, yo, shout out, Sedona. <laughs> now someone says Sedona, I instinctively just go, Sedona. <laughs> so fucking funny. <laughs> so then we, yeah. yeah, so he's talking about the council. He's talk, talking about all this stuff, how he just like, sees entities nonstop now and he's been battling entities it's not even like he's hit while he's tripping although he talked about getting kicked out of flow tanks pretty consistently yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Goes, <laughs> screaming in a flow he's tank. torping he's, dude yo you are good at torping uh, dude i mean i don't want to attract any sort of negative spirits yeah. or create some can't sort of, hear bro yo matt clean me off i don't i don't want to take i don't want to take his thing but he you got this, a, what would you see on space i can't i don't have that level of vision that he has dude green light energy that's uh, green light energy, probably pretty sick. Dude, I smoked, I smoked this Changa, and it was insane, dude. The Changa fucking rules. I had all rules. these little guys working on me, and they're like, "Just make sure he's still breathing." Yeah, like, the right. Changa rules. He's done. He's a big ayahuasca guy, so he's done so many ayahuasca ceremonies. He's saying that like he just sees the shit, and he has to focus. But he's like, he can start seeing the ayahuasca entities in real life. So he was like explaining this all how now what a lot of what he does is just clearing them away from people. That's so he, he's doing he, the Lord's work. He hooked us up. He, we well, we all we went out until and you're ate. under the knife. And then it's an uncomfortable. Dude, it looked experience. like we were just getting blown in a park. Like yeah, we were, we're absolutely in the dark. getting blown in a park. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we go out. We go out to. We go out to dinner. We're out. We're hanging out. I I haven't said a word this entire time. It's just <laughs> Matt and the Changa guy hitting fucking crazy talk. Facts. <laughs> spin, 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 big facts. Big facts. Fact, just sitting there watching birds attack people. That which was, was pretty exciting. great. That was good. Um, and you then, have shields when you eat outside at Sydney. You have like a, tra- a shield over your tray and the birds will come try to come for you and you got to like hold a fucking Captain, yeah, you have to Captain America shield up, <laughs> battle them off. It's pretty tough. They, we, at, at one point I was like, maybe you could get rid of, you could torp for me. <laughs> I didn't did. know he was going to hold on to it the whole day. Yeah. At the end of the night before I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm tired as fuck. I, I got to go. And he's like, do you want to go find somewhere private, somewhere less crowded and we can we can do the tour oh, so thing. you guys got blown in a park we got blown in a park it would seem it felt like it it must look like that what's that sketch this is how we trip that dude kyle that's on snl kyle mooney yeah this is how yeah. we trip it's the best fucking shit in the world he oh, took us so we leave <clears throat> the sydney opera house we leave that and walk up to a park that kind of overlooks the 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 harbor which is mm. it was beautiful it's yeah, a it perfect nice. place to get blown <laughs> <laughs> yeah we, i sit on a stump cool. of a tree in the middle of a park at night and Julian Palmer hits me with the fucking Dude, torping. Literally, it was this. It was he knelt down and just went. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you're so good at it, Bro, like, <laughs> Dude. That's <laughs> crazy how good you are. I do I've had a torp, obviously. He does it, he did it for like it's alright. You don't even if you don't hear it, it's fine. He did it for <laughs> oh, you can't hear it. My bad. I thought I thought you were saying the whole thing didn't pick up. <laughs> He torped for literally, like he would do it was that. impressive. He two minutes, two three minutes straight. Two minutes straight of just going bop, 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 rapid bop, fire. Bop, 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 bop. And then when it when it ended, so when did he, it work? Like, could you well, feel a difference? Dude, honestly, a difference? I checked my back. Now my back still hurts. But the uh, the next morning, the next morning, I woke up and I was like, dude, I think my back doesn't hurt. But it, it, you know, yeah. I was. I there was a part of me that was really hoping it was real. Yeah. But. I, uh, yeah, you he did a, that, he did that to me. Power. I was literally sitting there looking at Matt laughing. This guy's, <laughs> we're in the dark. This guy's on his knees behind me going bop, 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 for two minutes. Dude, dude it wouldn't it stop. It was a very long and time. And then he was like, do you have any more? How about, how about your back? How's that feel? I was like, fuck. 
<laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Go ahead. So he does the back now for five minutes. He's like, "This is a tough one, mate." This and this is, is all on on like recording. No, no, no. no, no. This, is, this is us we by just ourselves just doing chilling. this. We're just chilling, killing time. But dude, I'm he, not trying to smash Julian because nah, he, he was a great real, dude. dude. He's he on some other. Dude. He's on another level. Real. I'm yeah. just not on that. He's on another level. I'm not in that world. But there was a uh, when he would finally defeat your entity. He would just go. <laughs> Yeah, he can't help it. And it, it he can't and it help would, it. it. Whenever he defeats it's an invo- you. No, it's an involuntary reaction he has. Once the entity is crushed, he, he launches it. It's, he can't control it. So then, like, there's people. But Shane got done. There was, like, nobody really around besides me. When it was my turn, people were, like, walk. Okay. People were walking by. So they're, it, we're, like, dark. It was, like, nighttime now. It's dark. And you just see a dude kneeling near another dude going, ha, 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 ha. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> Dude, people would have stopped just like looking like, what the fuck? That's insane. He would do it when we were walking around a lot of people. And he was like, and it was kind of funny because we were like talking about it a lot. And he was like, it kind of, you can see, well, this is kind of my thinking of it, but it was like, you, you view Torp out loud in public, it pisses people off. And oh, I was like, definitely. damn, it's the negative yeah. entities, dude. They instantly reveal themselves. There was one guy who stopped and was just glower, just fucking, just like so fucking mad because he was torping. But watching people react to people torping in public is the f- I, v- I videotaped him doing it. It's the funniest fucking thing. <laughs> Holy fuck! Yeah, him torping was fucking sick. He was a man. He was a man. His what happened to him? So we talked about it on. We did the one on Patreon uh, where we interviewed him, and then we did the other guy. But he. So what happened was he went on ABC. They did a whole thing about him a year ago. Like this guy's like bringing psychedelics into Australia. Blah blah blah. And they like it, he was explaining in Australia. There are a bunch of rule followers for the most part. Not as bad as Canada, but. They, they're very much rule followers, but they have like this, like they root for like, kind of like people who buck the system kind of, they secretly are like, yeah, that kind of rules. Cause they're like, you know, it's like a prison colony. But what happened to him was they did a whole fucking documentary on him of like, this guy's the man. He's like a renegade like a year ago. So he was like, nice. And ABC hit him up like, yo, we want to like, I don't know if it was a follow up on that or like a, a new thing, but he thought they were about to like network television bring him on like you were the fucking man they like fil- filmed him doing like a you know they did like some sort of like a i don't know what thing they took but they i think it was peyote they took some like peyote and did like a walk through the woods so they filmed that whole thing and then they brought <laughs> him in it was cactus shit the cact- yeah, which i guess maybe peyote, is peyote. But no it was mescaline yeah i think it was yeah whatever they, <clears throat> mescaline's like 24 hours <clears throat> Mes- i think mescaline is synthetic but fuck Either way, it was some cactus. I forget what it you was. You kept calling it cactus something? Yeah, Whatever. same page. I don't know what it was. But he, so that he thought they were bringing him in to be like, yo, bro, you're the man. They sit him down full fucking, imagine going into fucking ABC Studios. Millions of people are going to watch this. They sit him down. They're like, so apparently there's allegations that you sexually abuse people during your ceremonies. And he just goes, <laughs> you, I watched the interview. He just goes. <laughs> No, he should have started twerping, yeah. dude. He, he just goes, you see his eyes just well. He's just like, what the fuck is going? They completely railroaded him. Yeah. And then he, what he explained to us was they do, they were, they had these ceremonies that were like unofficial where it'd just be a bunch of people doing like ayahuasca or whatever, or Molly and stuff. And they do a thing called mebbing, or, which is like where you like take Molly and then like cuddle somebody. Like the whole time, they, this was actually a form of LSD therapy that was like apparently very effective. But they were like, "You got to nix this shit. It's too, yeah, it's like right. too sexual. It's too sexual." And this yeah. is like you can't have a ther like a psychotherapist doing this with clients because the lines was completely bur- blurred. Which there is an argument though for being like, you know, well, if it helps, but whatever. No, you want it, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, dude. So <laughs> there was like he had like a thing, a mebbing thing that, you know, whatever, I don't know what happened, but like he lived with this girl for like three months afterwards. And then someone told her like, yo, that was fucked up. He mebbed you. And like, it like escalated it. So he like on record was talking about that. But I think the one he apologized for, I think during his ayahuasca ceremony, he kissed somebody. And, <laughs> and I that's, think that's the problem. Yeah, it's crap. Dude. But I think, I think, I don't know, but well, I, I mean, we heard his side of the story. It'd be like interviewing OJ yeah. Simpson. True. Like, we I didn't did, do anything. True. <laughs> We did hear his side, but it was like, he was like, bro, like that was my flatmate for three months. You know, yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, that was weird. But either way, it was just for us. We're the whole point of it. It was like, we were on the podcast and halfway through, he like drops that and we're like, oh shit, dude. Patreon.com. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah so that was fun. So that was, that was the first, that was just Sydney, dude. We're like three days in and we did that. And it was just like, that was fucking pretty nuts. Yeah. And then the next night we went out, probably the most glorious night there. 
and try to catch a... Oh, that was the easily the best, bro, night, dude. We they got, have fucking fruit bats oh, that dude. are flying foxes. Oh, Huge, Sydney bro. has this big, dude. Yeah. This the, big wingspan, this that's big. That's terrifying. The rodent you part hear is, the that, fucking, is like that. You can hear the wings. And we just happened to be by this church near the bridge where they all chill. And they were fucking everywhere. Holy like, yeah. fuck. There was the one the they making those Matt sonar noises? It. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. It was awesome. Dude, that's I climbed sick. a tree. I was trying to, we were trying to, we, we bought a bunch of banana. We went to their 7-Eleven, <laughs> bought a bunch of fruit. Fruit, and then we bought a pack of cigs. We <laughs> oh, so, they literally eat fruit. Yeah, they, well, eat, well, they, didn't eat, they don't eat ours. Yeah, it turns out they do eat, they, if you give it a grape, they won't eat it from you, but if you leave it out, they'll take a grape and suck the juice out of it, then spit the fucking pulp out. All right. But they do love fruit. But yeah, we got ham, we got pretty drunk. And we went out. First of all, we got cigs because we both wanted I to love, smoke cigs. I love hearing you getting drunk, dude. Damn. I know. I was. I was. We like, I, love it. I was trying to hang. I was trying to hang and have fun. So I was cigs. getting fucking hammered. We just got some Marlboros. <laughs> I'm saying, how were they? They were sick. We just fucking. We had some good Marlboros. Yeah. Some good Marlboros. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they called so we, them there, Sean. We ripped. Oh uh, yeah, you've changed. Old cig connoisseur. So we ripped cigs. And then we're. I was. I climbed the one tree, and I was trying to. We're trying to like plant. You like were bananas. so close to the one bat, bro. The first. I was in the tree, and a bat went pff, like right by me. But I was trying to. We, we spiked spiked an apple on a fence. That was, this is all you, by the way. I you planted something. <laughs> I didn't spike any fun. You were I did plant a banana. You planted plant some plant nanners. You planted some nanners. Climbed up, put some nanners in the tree, and we were sitting back like any moment. The fucking the is this in a populated area? It's a city of Sydney. No. But this, the the there were people walking by. Like yes, you guys there were some trees. cars and people. Were they confused? Again, they're just the uh, Chinese. We were ripping, we were ripping we were Asians. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, For real, we people were, just yeah. walking it by. Was like, EAB. It was EAB. It was EAB. It was EAB. We, at one point, Matt was trying to throw bananas into the tree. Yeah. To be like, they're going to stay. I thought they were going to swoop <laughs> down. Just obviously just landing. I thought they were going to swoop down. Yeah, trying to get it to land in we there. We would have had uh -huh. them when they were swarming. If it was dusk, yeah. When they were swarming at first because at dusk is when they munch. Yeah. And that's when we saw them. We were kicking ourselves big time, dude. We were smoking cigs just being like, dude, if we only came out here two hours earlier, yeah. this, we would have been fully Batman. That was, yeah. That was probably the best night of the trip. Those, those, so those flying foxes. Sunset any different down there? Feel yeah. different. It's nice. Uh, no, the one thing that felt different was all of a sudden it was winter. Yeah. So you get there and it's the sun goes down at five. Yeah. Fuck. And you're like, holy shnikes. That was dude. part of the body load. That's dude. where you go. You go down there and you go, oh, <laughs> shnikes. <laughs> yeah, it was fucked up to leave summer and go into like a quickening dark winter, then to come back. I'm telling you, I, it like fucks your body up. I'm still fucked. Yeah, it, it's, absolutely. I'm it's glad bad. you guys are back and you're safe. I'm bad. I'm glad. First too. night, woke up at 3 a.m. Yeah. The next day. Couldn't go to sleep. This yet yeah, today. Today was a good day. I went to bed at nine. Woke up at five a.m. How do you feel now? I feel alright. I took a nap before I came here. Uh, and I was fully asleep. This is what happens around five or six. I get fully fucking. It's bedtime. It's tough. Bro. If I sleep for like forty-five minutes, then it's daytime the next day. You're a flying fox. I'm essentially a flying fox. <laughs> You're a flying fox. Now. <laughs> tap I your, wish. Tap your cheek. If I was <laughs> if I was any Australian animal. I would say I was probably a flying fox. <laughs> dude, I don't know. The fucking uh, Tasmanian devils might be my new favorite. Dude, we got to watch them crunch the bones of a rabbit tail. Just, just sound like they're eating rocks, dude. It was so fucking tight. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It was really exciting stuff. But yeah, it was pretty much, that was Sydney, but you know, Sydney ruled. Then Adelaide was kind of fucking gay. Yeah. That was the only show that was kind of a dud. It was, was still the was one good. show that was a dud. It was still good, but yeah. Yeah. It wasn't, it was yeah. Compared to the other shows, that one was a dud. The first show was sick. Yeah. These big ass theaters, what are we talking here? Not very big. You guys are hitting the big time. That's what you're telling me. This is pretty much big I time was quaking, stuff. dude. Big that was stuff. fucking, I looked back, I was like, there's a lot of fucking people. What was that like for you? It actually isn't too bad, but I remember the first couple of times, like, yeah, when you, when you, you little, start not doing well, when you start not bit. doing like awesome, it's so apparent, and you're just going, <laughs> oh, it's such a big <sighs> fucking room. Dude. Start doing like, I'm getting a lot of the room, really, but you know, maybe not ever. Maybe this room's acoustically weird. <laughs> it sucks, oh, dude. Man. I think That's they're also a deep, deep thing to go into. <laughs> Shit starts fucking I was having heart palpitations the whole time, too. Acoustics of a room. My heart was palpitating every, <laughs> every five minutes, dude. It was just. My body had to adjust from the flight. I was like physically fucked up. Was this before or after you were smoking six? Way before. before. Really? Yeah, dude. It was just, it was the like next helped. day. Nicotine helps. I think it might have. Yeah, I smoke. Small just, dose this of was nicotine. the next day, dude. It was just like it was I've had them before, but never you like man tied out. How so? You started getting numb. <laughs> 
He, when he when he went to the Chargers, he would show up in the game and get numb. I wasn't numb. I just Tom was like sweating. What are you drinking, Matt? That's a I didn't do ginger. It's a cider. <laughs> Damn, what? you guys are all drinking. This is Yuzu Ginger. Bill, why don't you drink it with the fellas? Have I'll drink uh, yeah, Friday. Beers downstairs. Or Friday night. Nah, I mean, you know Friday's I your a, night. You know I got a CDL. True that. Oh, dang. Whoa. So slurpy, dude. Big Bill with the slurps. <laughs> oh, you don't have the fucking headphones on. I can't ASMR you. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Shane's nice at ASMR. Dude, you're getting my helmet to fucking Chill. gorge up. It's like pure rasa. Bill, if I just took you. <laughs> dude Dude I'm taking these headphones off I'd love to feel you grow in my mouth <laughs> <laughs> Alright Alright I want to hear I need to hear more I, I can't even imagine Spud Dog Shut up In, in <laughs> Europe Spud Dog in Europe Here's what happened to me When I went I fucking First go You're going to be so homesick You think so? Definitely dude Of this place Yes <laughs> You'd be surprised. Imagine, I was selling cars that, in Mechanicsburg, and I got over there, and I was like, oh, "I want to go home." <laughs> I'm telling you, all I need is the parrot and be able to call Bill. That's my whole world. What Pause, would you do, bro? I'm just saying. Yeah. That's, that's all you got other shit going. Yeah, that's very nice. That shit is nice, dude. <laughs> you know, don't it's, push away it's a love, joke, dude. Just bro, it's a you're... joke. It's a joke. Mm -hmm. Forget that it, stuff. Okay, well, tell him you're kidding, dude. <laughs> I just said it's a joke. If we, you, I cherish you too. If we can figure out the tech, I mean, that's all it is. <laughs> yeah, it'll be sick. I think you I think you would thrive. I think if you do like a start with the seven dayer. But make sure you you fall apart on camera. I There's mean no, I that's the good. Well, I mean you the debauchery. It needs to be oh recorded. That's no problem. You need to be an open book. You probably get some sniz too if you're walking around like, yeah, I got you know. Would Shane it be Gillis? debaucherous or would it be completely <laughs> We don't know. No one will know. I, I know. It yes. We'll we'll find out. We'll find <laughs> you out think together. You can go over there and fucking look at paintings. We'll find out together <laughs> on the War Mode podcast. Yeah, yeah. True. I think you true. look at the paintings. Definitely peep the paintings. But then <laughs> there's also it. some fine red light districts over there. Yeah. I walked through the one in fucking Hamburg, Germany. Really? My lord, dude. Oh my lanta. I was walking through there like Hamburg. Dude, Hamburg's on one of my uh, wish lists for. They're the babes, dude. They're yeah. full on the babes. Really? And they were just wearing, the only way you could identify them is that they were wearing puffy jackets. Oh, And they were, oh. I couldn't believe it. Wait, puffy jackets in the brothel? They stand outside? Outside. They're, there's oh, a, red a red light district. Light, like, there's like you're in a city. They're outside. And there's a couple blocks where it's just fully legal. Oh, outside, it's like the uniform was like, it was wintertime, so they were wearing puffy jackets. Every one of them oh. had the same jacket on. You'd be like, holy shit, who's that hot chick? Oh, she's one of them? Eh, the fuck. hottest girls ever. And they that, yeah, behind the, the glass is kind of weird. You see them, like, I've never been to a... They saw me, dude. They sussed me out immediately. They're like, American. Oh. <laughs> Definitely American. They saw my <laughs> big ass walking down the street. <laughs> and nothing, nothing, anything goes? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't partake. Uh, it'd be nice to kill one. Dude. It'd be so <laughs> nice to fucking chop one up. Oh, my God. Just look what you made me do the whole time. <laughs> just kill a prostitute. <laughs> Illegal is just a sick bird over there. That's why bro. I don't like legalizing prostitution. It makes it harder to kill them. <laughs> the <bird> of them. <laughs> Split ultimate. them open, cut them open like a tauntaun and sleep inside of them. <laughs> I'd like to cut open a fat hooker and sleep in her. Under a bridge, yeah. just fucking. She's a big, great, fat, great big fat person. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had a pee pee. Go Wiz. Yeah, let's switch. Yeah, let's switch. switch. We'll go over. Where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, time fuck. We didn't do a stupid fucking advertisement. Oh, uh, now we're advertisements right now. All right, we'll do the ads. We'll go Wiz. I'll do the game. Right, I'll do it. I'll switch. I'll, I'll, I'll go right ads. back. I'll be right back. Goodbye, horses. Um, And we can keep rolling on this if you guys want. I can't hear my microphone. You can't hear your microphone yeah. again? Are you, Spud's coming in on my air. <laughs> Oh, nice. Liquid IV, dude. You can't hear your shit? Hello? Hello? Oh, yeah. No, you guys ever it. use liquid IV? Yeah, I do it every time. When They're I, fucking nice. When I, when I come home from drinking, I'll drink I'll Does chug it work? one of them. Is it real? I'll chug one of them before I go to sleep and pop two Advil. Well, of course it's real, Spade. It uses cellular transport technology. Ever heard designed of Designed to enhance the absorption of water into the bloodstream. Liquid IV contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, vitamin C, and is free from gluten, dairy, and soy. Yeah. 
Use Liquid IV first thing in the morning before a workout when you feel run down and after a long night out. Bill, you you called it. Orange. Mandatory personal endorsement. <laughs> I did it? Well, I we already did the personal endorsement. I actually drank one today after my workout. You did and before. I did before and after today. Fuck Gatorade, dude. Gatorade. You drink a Gatorade me. like a fucking moron? To Liquid yeah, IV to shits shit. on Gatorade. You get diabetes, dude? Liquid Fuck IV that. shits on Gatorade. Okay. Also, I did have one before. They sent me a crate of these fucking things. Can you send them to me? I could give you a bunch. I like that. This is a party animal over here now. They're very good. Party I know. I'm happy weekends. you're a party animal Let's now. On the weekend. Party animal and workout. Boy, let me tell you something. Liquid IV is perfect for you. Damn, you're chill with that. The single serving chill package helps that. keep you hydrated on the go. Bill, Remember you're an on the go guy. Fat? Chill with Nobody that. Nobody called dude. you fat, dude. You're on Kidding the go. Me? Liquid IV tastes great with flavors like Concord Grape, Not bad. Lemon Lime, and Tropical Punch. It's My all, favorite what is. What about orange? Orange. Yeah, obviously. Did you see that? I didn't say banana. They have a Bud Light orange now. Grab your liquid oh. IV in bulk nationwide at Costco. Sure Get white down trash. there. Get 15% <laughs> off when you go to liquidiv.com. AKA and, fat people heaven. And use code drenched. Get fit, Don't you ever besmirch Costco. <laughs> Costco Get 15% rules. off Stand anything for using promo code drenched.com or drenched at liquidiv.com. Dude, how about that Thank one you. hinge thing I was playing where she's like, I want to go to Costco. Oh, That's yeah. like my dream. An Asian bitch. Was she Asian or no? Nah, you did that. Okay. Matt. Let me get the next one. Fitbod tailors an exercise program to your goals, equipment, and schedule. It's the easiest way to work out. I've used Look at me, that. dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to avoid overtraining, this app varies your routine for you. Way cheaper than a personal trainer. Fitbod is easy to use on both the iOS and Android devices. Their video tutorials make it easy to learn a new routine. You can get a full year of personalized workouts with Fitbod for less than the cost of one session with a personal trainer. Dang. Me and my buddies used to call whacking off a session. <laughs> <laughs> Crush your summer fitness goals with personalized workouts from Fitbod that improve as you do. Get 25% off your subscription or try the app for free when you sign up now at fitbod.me slash drenched. That's 25% off your subscription or try it free at fitbod.me Slash drenched. <laughs> Shane, yeah, let me tell you, once you get three you, ads, woo, dude, once you get jacked, we got on, a fun spud dog. Yeah, woo. true. Once you get jacked, dude, from the fit bod, you're going to slide into a, a true classic. So nice, dude. Most true t-shirts. classic tees. Oh, you're talking yeah. about the push up yeah. bra for men? What the fuck? That's what they say. That's what they call it? It's the yeah. same thing. I'm same thing it. as a push up bra. I'm Your man tits look fucking huge. You want my A cups? I don't to think come so. Up? I put one on. It doesn't have, it didn't like. But I'm saying it's the same effect where you see a girl who might have B's and she puts up a, she puts on a push up bra and you're like, oh yeah, I'm uh, are the true, Is that like the Instagram ads where it's like they're perfectly tight in the shoulders, right? And loose and flowing. Yeah, up. it's for fucking, true classics. It's for yeah, boys dude, with Matt, fucking girthy you, hips. You know, Matt, Billy used to call me A cup Andy. You know that, right? <laughs> that's that was a up. funny nickname. That's not the stuff. That's not true classic behavior, dude. No, true classic would never Most t shirts are way too tight on your gut or look way too big true classic mine are just tight on my arms but whatever. true classic fits yeah true classic fits <laughs> tighter around the chest and shoulders right where you want it you know mandatory that? personal endorsement guys i'll tell you this Cocksucker. it fits nice guys <laughs> it's fucking nice i put it on i say i look just like my brother billy right now yeah. so all nice. of their gear is top-notch quality at great prices Try you want to look like bill without all the hassle and hard work true fit dude <laughs> true Classic fit, whatever the fuck this Try is. their polos and their workout oh, shirts. Cool. I had that, bro. For all I forgot you, what it was. This is a copy, not me. For all you fat fucks out there, uh -huh. they have they long said that? <laughs> Yes. They're, oh. doing, they're doing the demo research. Oh. For all, their, all you fat fucks. Fucks out there. They have long body options and sizes up to 3XL. Dude, <laughs> those people look like they're from Bugs Life. You ever wear a long t shirt? <laughs> it's so gay. It's so gay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no offense to. Classic tees. <laughs> true classics. Yeah. No offense to true classics. It's like a fucking form Guys, of it's, shame it's about time sense. you learn how to dress yourself properly. No. And hide your fat, disgusting stomach. Look, Upgrade if you're fat, your don't look cool, dude. Upgrade. You're fat. <laughs> Fix that before you try to wear fashionable Upgrade shit. Upgrade your wardrobe with, wardrobe with <sighs> true classic. Get 25% off at trueclassic.com with code DRENCH. That's 25% off and free shipping over $100 with the code For real though. DRENCH at trueclassic.com. Stay classy with True Classic. Your dad bod will thank you. For real, though. Nice nice shirts. I know we're goofing there. Yeah. I bought a couple of those. You know me. I, I like to wear black tees on stage. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, True Classic. Great yeah. black tees. What an I Another think company sent 
a different company, not them. Mandatory yeah. Sent me some. It's not mandatory, Bill. <laughs> I uh, come on. How dare what are you, you doing? Dude. What are you doing? <laughs> you're gonna be I, so uh, <laughs> don't don't dive bomb this, dude. <laughs> yeah, what do you think? You're big time. I'm happy to be here, man. <laughs> Act like it, huh? Act like it. We'll talk. We'll talk off air, dude. <laughs> will we? <laughs> yes. I don't think we will. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> what was uh, the tea you're talking? Literally asked you. They sent me like me. drive you here. Long <laughs> tea. Yeah. With like the V's, like on this, like no, the, I'm not the with tapers that. on like the side. Guy. Nah, yeah. dude, I can't. Uh, nah. Dude, when you're fat wearing nah. that, it looks fu- it looks you look like, like a girl. You look like you like, pay child support. Yeah. It looks like somebody curled up in a sleeping bag at like the top. Uh. It like literally tapers down around your fat body. It's fucking crazy, dude. The worm on T might fit you better. It looks like you might have Absolutely. tricked. It looks like you might have tricked Manti Teo. I would never. <laughs> How dare you? Not you. I'm yeah. saying if you're if you're wearing a fucking yeah, you look like the fucking you look like Lene. I don't look like Lene. <laughs> <laughs> I Man, I know could, I don't look like. Could I play a song for you in the beginning of the Patreon? Yes, definitely. Just some I've been we've been talking about it a lot. And I just want to play the part of the song that I wanted to show you. All right. Okay. Let's go to Patreon. Um, Is that cool. Now that we've handled business, dude. Yeah. Hey, everybody. True classic. Liquid Sorry it took so long for us to get there. We were in Australia. We tried to do two episodes. Both of them ended up fucking nuts. Yeah, it was too much. We were going to not put one on Patreon. They were both fucking wild. Yeah, it is. Yeah, people were saying, it's fucking over. Don't listen to the commenters. <laughs> a lot of doom guys. A lot of doom boys out there. Don't listen to the commenters. They don't know what they're talking about. I mean, I see it. Wow. Freaking, coming yeah. from you. Good Freaking, advice. Rich coming Freaking from Cheeto you, fingers in their basements. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. They don't know how cool we are in real life. That's exactly. the thing. They think we're dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out we're the coolest guys you could ever meet. Nicest, coolest. Nicest, coolest. Most humble. True. I couldn't be more humble than I am. <laughs> I'm staying humble, dude. It fucking pisses me off. Well, and people don't think we're humble, nice, and cool? Yeah, those are the three things I am. I know. It's fucked up. I'm crazy, sexy, cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we're back, guys. Real quick, we're back. HappyCampers.com. The HappyCampers.com. Yeah, we're we're happy 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 <laughs> we'll, never, yo, we'll never leave you alone with your thoughts ever War mode, obviously. <laughs> People war mode. <laughs> Yeah. Do you honestly and truly in your heart believe that <laughs> Santa <laughs> Claus? <Santa Claus? laughs> <laughs> Joan just went through trial for that. Patreon, Patreon, Patreon. Yeah, Patreon. yeah, dude, get rid of that intro. You guys already no, have a sick you. intros. Yeah, we, True. That's I, like, as a listener, as a listener. Matt was supposed a, to play that when we came on. He never did. As we an talked avid about, listener. Spade sent you that intro for when we came on. Still back, hurts, still hurts. Back when you guys were in West Philly, Spade sent you that intro that we played. Do the you honestly and truly never, in your You didn't put it in. What are you talking about? Post that. Don't let him, dude. Don't let him. I'm trying to bring you down. I'm not trying to bring you down. I'm just saying, like, trying to bring you down. We ha- that was like everyone like loves that. Now. Oh well. All right. Well, we'll go to the Patreon. I'll, um, I'll fix my professional setup. You guys, you already as a listener, as an avid listener, I do get excited for the intros. But then when They're it cuts cool. into the war mode intro, yeah, right, you want us to stop it. Just get rid of that. You guys have cool it? intros. I mean, yeah. play it occasionally because I still want a reminder of how cool it is. Because it <laughs> is nice. I've constructed seventeen seventy six will commence again. Yeah, it is sick. <laughs> Me, yeah, c- constructive criticism. I sometimes hit it, and then I go, "Oh man, this whole thing again." Okay, all right, good yeah, to know. Yeah. Good yeah. to know. Fucking fuck it. Or just Yo, have, I would have the very listen beginning. to the fucking sharks, dude. Have the very beginning fade out. <laughs> I love fading bum, shit out. Bum, 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 bum. Do you listen to our new intro? Spade I made did. it pretty good. They're fantastic. Yes. Every week. I nice. loved it. I loved hearing my main goal is to blow up. And yeah. then, like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, you, I'm gonna show yeah. I'm gonna show Spade premiere. And then it's you guys can put the video actually out too as well. We don't have video. They don't do video. You take video though from there is that is a that starts out as a video. You guys Yeah, but they the don't audio. film the podcast. Yeah, but they can put the video of the intro up on their Patreon. Just to pump fun, people. Fun to watch. All right, guys, people. Patreon, Patreon. It's a lot. True that. We're just getting, we're just getting the, the intros out every week, the All video right. production. We'll go All right, Patreon, Patreon. 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 Let's go to, guys, if you want to keep listening to this, because I got a, guys, I got a feeling this Patreon is going to be fucking something. <laughs> I think so, too. I don't know about you guys. And you're only going to hear this kind of stuff here. <laughs> this feels like a slumber party. I forgot about those two freaks in the corner. <laughs> Sean and Noah in the dark, like gay freaks. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about this? Just just, just real quick, there's a dial on that uh, salt lamp. Just lower it real quick, just so you can see the. Uh, the I see design. it. It's fucking nasty. No, no, no. I'm, ju- I'm just saying, just real quick. Oh, uh, you want to see the ceiling? Yeah, just, take just me down. Lower the dial. It will fade to black. Fade lower. to black, dude. Oh wow! Yeah, Shit. there it is. There it is. That's how you podcast. It's actually scary. 